quiet town of Kaer Dinaval, the party sought to find comfort in the uphill climb in, only to be turned towards the Kaer under great suspicion. Ignoring the suggestions of the innkeeper, Rourke, they have resorted to breaking in to some of the boarded up warehouses along the coast of the lake to find a place to rest before they continue their journey. When Leoric was thrown through a window, the group was able to pry open some boards and find some respite from the wind and cold for the night. As time passes, Boy grows more impatient and continuously disturbs Ray throughout the rest, seemingly worried about his owner Garrett. Oh my god, go to sleep. What are you doing? Lay down. Lay down. It's fine. It's fine. You need something to eat? Jeez. Hold on. There. Take that. You're alright. You okay? Yeah. Who's a good dog, huh? Don't worry. Okay. Please. Go to sleep. Boy. <sighs> sort of looks at you expectantly. Um, go ahead and roll an animal handling check. Oh, sorry about that. Seems to settle down for now, settling next to you. You can see that uh, Teriel is um, sort of wandering around, I guess, for his first watch. You would think that dog would be a bit tired, but here's Rati. Can't you? Speak to it of something of a druid since <clears throat> see what it wants. Maybe it knows something. No, I can't. I can't really do that. Besides, I sort of I, re I respect their privacy. You know. Oh, interesting. A druid that doesn't know what's in the minds of other. Sorry. It's getting rowdy out there. Thank goodness we seek shelter. Though it's not my first choice of what to do. But, you know, you should take advantage of this and get some rest. Are you, are you okay? Watch. Are you sure you're okay? Absolutely. I don't need much to rest. <clears throat> Half a night's sleep of you those need... human years. Mm. I just meditate. Plus, I have a lot on my mind. Do you need to talk about it? No. But thank you. Okay. Well, if you need anything, just poke me. I'd rather not, but get some rest. We may need you to be rested. We don't know what's coming up, and uh, you might have to change into that axe beak. Uh, well, let's hope not. But all right. I'll uh, see you in, yeah, in the morning. Bye. Right. Hmm. You see Teriel sort of relaxing, reading, as he takes his first watch. Teriel, give me a perception check. Normal. Normal. You, uh, you go without any issues during your watch. Three hours pass by without much of an issue. Well, 
since it's a quiet night. I'm glad they're getting sleep. I can really start looking into this idea. Father said. Hmm. The shard. Icewind Dale. North and winds. Hmm. There. <laughs> That's it. It just kind of looks around and makes sure everyone's asleep. Excellent. It just kind of looks at everyone. He's just like, attachments are problems. They get in the way. Hmm. Well then. He just kind of walks, takes his sword and kind of walks towards the open window and just stares outside. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a quiet and brutally cold night. I think just getting closer to the window, you can feel how much colder it is. Um, you can barely see out through the little, like, slit in the boarded up windows. Um... And it's still dark out and difficult to tell what time of day it might be at this moment. You can tell that it's time for the next person's watch. All right. You meditate and we get on with our mission. Whether they want to or not, I only swore off to one. Let me go work my way around. <clears throat> Sat Moonbrook. See Moonbrook resting. Good. Shift's almost in. No attachment stereo. So you kind of like gets down in his position and he sits up and just hold, holds his sword and just waits for the next watch. No. Attachments. But what if they're wrong? No. No. <clears throat> I have to prove myself. No matter what. I will complete this mission with or without them. They won't understand. It kind of like gets in meditate position. Do you wake Moonbrook? He's thinking about it. Ah, oh, hells. I could leave tonight. But I need them for something. He kind of gets up and moves over. <clears throat> um. Hmm. If I startle her, she might swing. <laughs> or a dragon might swing. Moon elves are definitely interesting creatures. It kind of takes the butt of his sword and hits her foot. Hey. Hey. Moonbrook hey, begins to stir from her meditation. And deep meditation. <laughs> Saying, well, more tired than she expected, I see. Let her sleep. I'll go a little mm -hmm. bit longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're awake. Yeah, mm. of course I'm awake. Of course. How was that? Good meditation, I see. Perfect yes, score. very insightful. Mm -hmm. Is mm. your watch over? Boring. No action whatsoever. Seems like the people here rather do the same as we do. Rest. 
No telling what the morning will bring. Can't see much anyway. Storm seems a bit to pick up, so I'm guessing that we're okay for now. And our gnome-shaped hole over there seemed to be the only real way of entry. And I hope we don't have a brigade of gnomes coming in here anytime soon. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible thing, so go ahead and get you some rest. Hi. Well, I'm off then. If you hear anything, say so scream. So good watch. So, um, I did I hear him talking to himself the whole time? I don't know. You seemed pretty out of it. I mean, I know with elven sleep, I know that they perceive everything as normal. They just still are asleep, so they can be startled awake, but they still take in everything. Mm -hmm. That's what you... So. I'm going to say no, not in this case. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to check. <laughs> he was probably far enough away from you where you couldn't hear him. Okay. Um, Moonbrook, uh, goes to the leorc shaped hole and she'll peer out to like see if she can see anything and um, then do like slow walks around the group to stay warm and to just basically watch over the space sure give me a perception check normal Okay. You do a few laps, and maybe midway through your watch, you swear, like after you've done a lap or so, you come back and you realize that there are a bunch of footprints on the path um like up the hill a little bit around where the warehouses are because let's show everybody kind of what I mean here very tough to see so I don't know necessarily what caught your eye about it but there are some footprints that you didn't really notice were there before when you looked out Except now, there are. You didn't hear anything. But right about here, there are a bunch of footprints about. Can Are these fresh foot footprints? Would I be able yes. to tell? Um, okay. So they have to be because you you checked earlier and you didn't see them. Like when you did your last lap or whatever and you looked outside. Okay. Um, do they look normal in size? You or can go out and take a look. <laughs> okay. We'll go out and uh, take a look. I'll be sneaky about it, though. Okay. Being stealthy? Yes. Stealthy. How are you doing that? Um, I will, uh, quietly, uh, move up to, uh, the place where we managed to get in, um, after we found the, uh, the grappling hook and whatever, and, um, I'll go up to that perch, uh, and overlook, uh, by, like, crouching down and, uh, just moving as quietly as I've practiced, you know, before. Okay, give me a stealth check. Sure. I'm I'm sweating over here. I am so nervous. Twenty-three. You stealth your way up. 
to the area near Dinim's Rest, the place that you first looked to potentially stay the night. Right up the hill a little bit. And you get closer and you can see that there are a bunch of footprints of various sizes. Some are... Um, some are larger than others. Uh, you can roll me an investigation check. Sure, sure. An investigation. Oh, sorry. 16. I accidentally clicked it twice. Okay. 16. From what you can tell, the footprints are broken up into like two different sizes. One is probably too small for a human, but probably about the size of maybe a dwarf. The other footprints are significantly smaller. At first, you might have considered them to be tracks, but like animal tracks, but upon closer inspection, you can see that they are very small footprints. So, um, are those humanoid in nature, or are they more animal-like in nature? Definitely, they are like boots. Both sets. Um, can I, can I just glance around to see if I see anybody around? Sure. Perception check. Nothing. Okay. I am going to quietly go back to where we are in the warehouse. Okay. And once I get back inside, I am going to wake up Nissa. 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 I'll shake her. What is it? There's someone outside. There's a few people outside. I, I saw the 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 boot marks. I, I we might be in trouble. Um, and then I'll like quietly like shake everybody awake, but I'll you know quietly, um, you know, signal them to be quiet. Or I'll put my hand over their mouth. Whatever works. <laughs> I get my gear ready. There is... Maybe my, danger. I don't know. Well, my shift's over. Your shift's... My shift. I need what? to get some specific information from everybody. Normally, you would not sleep in armor. It's extremely uncomfortable. And if you did sleep in armor, I would like uh, constitution saving throws. Even for meditation? Yes. For leather armor as well? Yep. Or just like, okay. Armor is not comfortable to sleep in. Hey, man. Forgotten realms, we forget our underwear. We just sleep. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, do I right, actually what, have constitution armor? Saving I think throw? I just have like furs and You have clothes. hides, I think. Um, uh, right. I, th- I believe you have hide armor, if I'm not mistaken. It still it's has, like, like, bones and stuff on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not comfy. Uh, Constitution. This is if you are sleeping in your armor. Well, I can't say that I'm not, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I wanted to be fair Yay. because I probably already slept in it or whatever. So, Ray... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not comfortable to sleep in this armor. Uh, you basically have not really gotten very much sleep. This is one of those things that everyone needs to be cognizant of. The whole point of having a person on watch is to warn people so that you have time to put on armor. Uh, because it takes a few minutes to put on. You can sleep with it on, it's just not comfortable and you run the risk of getting exhaustion. Um, so, right now, Ray, you haven't really gotten very much sleep, if any at all. 
Okay. Yeah, because the dog was also being a mm -hmm. little. All right. So is is that a, is that an exhaustion level Not after yet. that point? Or we... Okay. So just that <laughs> cognizant of it. Yeah, it's only been four hours or so. Why? What did you see, Bloombrook? There was boot marks outside. I know that sounds crazy, but there's a bunch of them. And they're small and big, and I just don't know what to do, so I don't... I, I think it's just best that I wake you up. I, I'm so sorry, So No, it, you okay. did the right thing. Yes, they've been sorry. Is it footsteps? <clears throat> No, no, no. They they looked they're fresh. Like they just happened. Like seriously, I I, I don't even. They are very fresh. Why don't okay. we go take a look, Perio? Yeah. Could someone could someone I'm... hold the armor? So like, could someone uh, hold this for me? And he holds up like a really large piece of scale mail. Oh goodness sake! I don't I'll think you can it. fit in this anymore. Sure, I can. Just put it on. All right. I just like. He like holds it, it and drops and it. it <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it like covers it completely. Be quiet. Guys. There you go. There's an old one. Yeah. Right. Oh boy. Okay. Can you carry maybe, this? Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we shouldn't all pile out at the same time. Okay. I believe. Jeppy can stay by the door. Jeppy can make people sleep if anyone's in a window. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Okay. Leoric, I don't know how comfortable you back. are as a gnome, but Not I suggest there. you stay small. Okay. So you can surprise someone, if just in case things get wrong. Plus, it's easier to protect you as you're not as tall as you are. I can't. I can't move very well with it. Mm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to be something else because it can't it be. If, if it's if it's anything uh, dangerous, I'm I'm gonna want to be able to move, right? All right, we'll go into yes. normal form then and just stay in the shadows if we can. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna miss the gnome, honestly. All right. What the hell? I what mean, the hell? You, it's just. Jimmy kind of likes this. It looks kind of cool. Yeah. The weird white eyes. It's fun. Uh, okay, anyway, but back to But he was our little gnome. <laughs> so, footsteps, you say? Yes. Back Are they all huddled together where they spread out? They were in an area. Here, come on, I'll show you, but you must be quiet. I'm going to stay here. Um, I'll, I'll be as quiet as I can. So he's just kind of like clinking a little bit <laughs> when he walks. Yeah anybody, that, yeah, anybody that has heavy armor uh, rolls stealth with disadvantage. Um, if the whole group is trying to move out, uh, you guys can roll stealth if you're trying to be stealthy. Maybe you I should stay by the door. Yeah, I'm. I'm staying back. I'm not. I'm not. I'll let them go out and figure things out. I think you see Leoric back into like a shadow or back by the door or somewhere hidden, and he holds. Uh, he holds the the pendant of Azuth, and he starts mum, uh, muttering something under his breath on repeat. Lord of Spirits, let me do this. <laughs> <laughs> he just as if he's praying. <laughs> as I said before, I'll just stay by the door. <laughs> That's a natural one, right? <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> just stay by the door. <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm wearing chain mail. Yeah, I'm wearing Maybe chain mail, heavy. chain mail with some heavy. For anybody that's confused, chain mail, heavy. Right. Jebby can come outside and try to make anybody who wakes up go back to sleep. Might be best that way. <laughs> what do you think, Moonbrook? Maybe don't sleep yet. Just keep watch. So does she trip? <laughs> could be like a I need all the of, anybody that's leaving. I need stealth rolls for no, if I'm, you're trying I'm to be stealthy. Back. I'm staying back. I think uh, Leoric, we're staying back, right? Chappie like, wants yeah. to know if she should go with the group or not, <laughs> or stay back here. It, if you're Come leaving back. and you want to be stealthy, then I need stealth rolls. If you're not, if if people are not leaving, then they they don't have to make the rolls. All right, so oh yeah, you're I'm, staying by the door, right? So just stay at the door then, like because yeah, I'm, I'm staying at the door just in case I need to charge out. Because I'm in, I, 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 at first I go with you and I'm just like, wait, I don't think I'll be much of use as stealth. And I like look down and I'm, cause I'm clinking as I walk. Unless you want to wake up whoever's out there. I can come charging out at will. 
and I will come sword of blazing, but, and he just kind of stops and he looks at Nyssa. How in the majestic hell, if they're out there, I don't think you need me. I'll be at the door. We'll be all right. Yeah, I don't want we'll you to yell. make a noise at all. Oh, we need to be sneaky. Yeah, she's as big as a, I don't understand. Just tell so, me where to look, Moonbrook. Moonbrook. And stay behind me. And Moonbrook and Nissa are heading outside. Everybody else is staying in. I'm at the door. Okay. Like, just kind of like peeking out. Sure. Cheppy's also at the door and she's holding an action for sleep. Okay. In case anybody wakes up and looks out any of the windows. I'm petting Thank boy you, and Cheppy. listening. That's all. I'm Sword is ready as well. No, no, me be very specific. All right. Nissa, you're. What position are you guys in, Nissa and Moonbrook? Uh, I'll go first, but I, I mean, I'm assuming Moonbrook's right behind me and can kind of point. Yeah, so like, me. she'll go first. I'll come at an angle and like I'll point, like to where we're headed. Like take the she's going first because she's, you know, armor. But I gotta show her where it's at. So like I'll come behind her. Okay. So. You step out into the cold and uh, Nissa, you lead the way as you begin walking up the hill you hear this like horrible uh, horrible like yelp as and slip on the snow from behind you uh, as Moonbrook you, son of a fall to the ground and sort of snow like it's tossed up in the air as she uh, slips on a patch of ice walking up the hill and uh, makes a horrible racket. I crouch uh, and help her up and look around at the same time just very wary of someone having heard that. (laughs) Sorry, was I loud? Yep. A little. My back hurts. Everything hurts. Gotta watch out for that black ice. Can I just help her up? Mm-hmm. I did. I didn't see it. Didn't see it. So where were these footsteps? Right, right over here. I'll take her over there and show her. Yeah. Just in front of Dineb's rest, you can see bunch of footprints. There's already snow that's kind of like blown into them you know and partially obscuring them Um, but you can see signs of footsteps. Can I tell who they belong to? Like are they big footsteps, small footsteps? There are varying sizes. uh, Two different sizes from what you can see. Roll an investigation check. Uh, You have advantage because uh, Moonbrook has shown you where they are. Look, this one is like small. Some, that one's big, big. Maybe two people. Hmm. I'm gonna follow these footsteps and see if we can figure out who this was. Okay. You can tell that the footsteps begin to lead around the side of Dinev's rest. And as you follow these footsteps, you can see like the alley between the between Dinev's rest and like the next house here. The footsteps sort of follow that path. As you get to the alley, you can see that there's the footsteps stop. At the entrance to the alley? Yes, and you can tell that there's been snow that's been brushed over them. So they tried to hide their passage. I don't know if we should follow without the others. Well, we should double back and get them. All right. So we head back, but I send Moonbrook ahead of me 
and just kind of keep aware of what's behind us. Okay. Walk back to the warehouse. Terry Are we Are we good? Are you good? It's impossible to tell. There were at least two others out here watching us. Oh, come in, they come in, traveled come in. from an alley by Dinov's Rest and then tried to hide their footsteps. Hmm. Why would they go there? They are looking for someone. We are being tracked. Did we ever look back for any footsteps before coming here? No. No. Jebby didn't. We gotta be more careful. We have a knack of stirring people at taverns and... <sighs> Honestly, I'm with the group. So... We may not be safe here tonight. I would but like should to... should we go see who they are or see if we're in trouble? We can... We can continue into the alley. I didn't want to do that with just me and Moonbrook. I think... There's two things. We either search for this party, hopefully take them by surprise, but we may have be, we may be doing exactly what they want. And training, and training back at home, one of our tactics is to let the tracker fall into our mists that we're on it. They're on our terms. We could be falling right into a trap. And if we run, so to speak, who knows what's prepared for us? It and we have to decide. On what direction we run to. So, the tracks, they were fresh and then they dissipated. Meaning. They were covered over on purpose. So they were trying mm. to hide where they went back to. Yes. Maybe so someone yeah. else is trying to hide like us. Greg, okay. mm. could you turn into a belt or something and fly around and take a look? No, I, 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 I wish. That'd be me. I can't do that. Okay. But I, I could turn into a cat. And a what? And, a cat. Into a cat? Yeah, I could oh. try and turn into a cat, but... I mean, I'm going to be a, a little vulnerable out there if I do that. I will come a little further back. If you want to go investigate, maybe could you reach the rooftop as a cat? So you're not directly in the alley. Um, I... Hmm. Isn't it the alley could be a trap. Outside. It's real if you need to get on the roof, we could throw you. It's not so bad. No, I, no. let's not. No more throwing. Yeah. I don't think it's a good idea. I've never, I've never done this. I, I, not, not, not for like a long time, other than for a second or two. So I. Well, that means your equilibrium would be off. Your footing wouldn't be stable at all, and you're in bad conditions. And having a giant dragonborn, no offense, chasing after you, so to speak. You're not, you know, and you're very stealthy, but you're also very, you're much of a looker. So people can, it, it just wouldn't look right, natural. In if there's this only town. two footprints, wouldn't it make sense for us to go find them? There's six of us and only five or two of them. And we have Frog. Frog will oh, help. Just, if but oh, if we all quiet. go together, maybe I find us. would hope we could handle whatever trap lies in that alley. <clears throat> Leoric. Yes? What, what do you want to do? I would like to sleep. Um, I don't think uh, going out and, uh, and uh, hunting these people who are potentially looking for us, or uh, maybe they aren't, but I don't know if it's a reason for us to, uh, one, uh, disrupt our night's rest, or two, uh, let everyone know where we are if, we, if anything was to start up. Uh, we are right there, we are hidden. But if we move from here and we are all jiggers up. Leoric brings a good point. There isn't any much entry without disturbing us in such a loud way that we'd be prepared. Correct. There seems to be one entrance and one exit that we made, unless one's small enough to fit through your hole there. Um, 
We can board it up, maybe, make a place to broken boards and find a way to make it difficult for them to get in here, and then, if they are looking for us, put it on our terms instead of being on theirs. What do you say to that? The only problem is we're trapped in here with one way out, and if they're on the outside, then we're stuck. That's fine. Well, we don't have to know that we're here. Yeah. Um, only one, one exit is far from preferable. Moonbrook, um, you look like you have something to say. Well, no, there's, there's a lot to, I'm sorry to wake you up, the orc. So, honestly, you... Maybe we should, you know, take that moment and, and rest. Um, even though I've got it. Um, and, and Ray, do you really want to turn into a cat? Like, I know, in good mead, if, they, if people see a cat, they'll eat the cat, so... Fair point. Well, they have to catch me first, but um, that's not a bad point. He could turn back. That's true. Most people who could try to catch him would probably. That's true. I could turn him. back. Well, that'd a be a lot surprise. Of money. <laughs> uh, not 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 out not out here, probably. Um, like I said, I I can I can skulk around if you want. What I'm thinking is, if they came if they came and they were if they knew we were here, they didn't bother us. And they only obscured part of what they were, like, as they walked away, right? You're saying there, there were footprints, and then it looked like they tried to hide them after the fact? They covered the footprints up at the entrance to the alley. The alley is a wonderful place for an ambush. Maybe you could throw me on the roof. Do you think you can do it gently? Yeah. I could try. I mean, they're not going to be looking up there, most likely. Mm -hmm. Unless they're and actually I... up there waiting for us. Well, then I'll see them. And jump back. Yeah, I'll just jump right my back. waiting arms. Yeah. Okay, I have, um, I have been blessed with a message spell. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody else uh, can, uh, but uh, if we need to, I could always send a message um, to one another. But I don't think it's important if I do it to the cat. If I was maybe... No, never mind. This is not smart. Does anyone else have a message? I don't know what that is. Like, you write notes? It's... it's I could... I could... Um, I could pluck the arcane uh, weave so I could then... Uh, the reverberations can be heard and interpreted through your mind instead of me talking. You can talk to my mind? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Chubby's just finding this out. Leor, can you read people's minds? <laughs> no, I cannot read people's minds, but I could project a thought into your mind that I am trying to interpret. Oh. Using the arcane. That's all right. Um, can you I, read Chubby's mind? I know I could, I could understand you. I don't I don't know if I could send something back other than the sounds I, of that, cat. I don't yeah, know how that works. I don't it's know. Not, it's, not a big, it's not a big deal. I should not go out and uh, do a scout because if anything was to happen, I would probably die. But if anyone else had message, we could then use that, utilize it. But uh, we don't. We oh, don't I see what you're it. saying. Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. Um. I don't know. And maybe if, if I take too long, send a message. Maybe maybe I can. We, we know probably calls. hear a cat yowling. If oh, I'll be loud. Oh, to rush yeah, in. there you go. All right. Okay. Uh, do All a, right. If, if there is trouble, do a cat mating call. A I, long... I actually do know what that is. Yeah, I can do that. All right, do I would that. like to say that he has to have... I will come rushing in with weapons if I hear that. I doubt there are other cats out tonight. Can can you even turn into a cat? We're still, we still have this mystery of him not I, I can. I've, I've done it for like a second, you know. Uh, so just, I can, I, you know, let, let's try it. All right? Do you need privacy to turn No, 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 no. It's fine. You guys can watch. I don't mind. Um, okay. Okay. So. Do it. I am going to cast Wild Shape. And very similar to when I turn into an axe beak. Same thing. Plant my staff on the ground. Feet, feet spread apart. Start muttering some words to myself in almost a whisper. And this time, you're going to see a, a, a soft yellow light start from the top of my staff, weave its way around, and then it'll slowly work its way 
down my arms and across my body, and I will slowly s- s- shrink into a uh, a yellowish orange tabby. Question: Does the staff slap you on the way down? <sighs> Damn. Oh, look at I'll, that! I'll crouch down and pick up the cat. I really hope this cat has arms. nine lives. Uh, as gently as I can, and I'll carry it outside. I'll just strap my my halberd to the back, one-handed, and carry it outside and start heading towards the, the mouth of the alley. I'm not going to make him walk in the snow, because it's really cold. Oh, it's adorable. All right, so Nissa is holding uh, the the Katuin. <clears throat> what do you do? Uh, I'm 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 very warm, so I'm I'm waiting on her to do whatever she's doing. But I'm pretty, I'm just you know pur- I am purring very very I- gently. I'm just holding him close into my fur so he stays as warm as possible and heading to the mouth of the alley. And once I get there, I'm going to lift him up and then as gently as I can, throw him up into the roof. And I'm assuming most cats, when you when you give them a boost, they'll jump. So Pretty high up. Do it. Yeah, I'm prepared. I'm prepared for whatever you do. I mean, I'm, I'm oh. sure I'm gonna have to roll for it, but Be- between me throwing roof? and him jumping, the roof's probably twenty feet up. Oh boy! Yeah, this is a yeet session. <laughs> I'm pretty strong. <laughs> um. Okay. So you're gonna toss Katuin up. Uh, go ahead and uh, make an athletics check. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> what I think you would expect to happen is <laughs> Nissa sort of tosses Katuin up. Uh, I think you completely misjudge the weight, and you launch Katuin way too hard. <laughs> oh, God, uh, I'm, sorry. I'm gonna need a dexterity saving throw from <laughs> Katuin. So. Uh, on the cat, uh, on the cat character sheet there, Katuin, uh, mm-hmm. if you could go ahead and, uh, yeah, go ahead and roll the dex attribute. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh. So that only went to me, uh, oh, but, that, but that was a natural one as well. Um, <laughs> no. Okay. Um... <laughs> Oh, you no. missed the roof Wait. completely. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a D8. No, actually, I'll roll it for you. Well, I'll roll oh, it thanks. for you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you take five points of damage as you awesome. land on the other side of the warehouse. <laughs> Can't you win? No. Katuin turns back into Ray. You take the remainder of damage onto Ray, which was three points. So, Wait, this happened. We're so, in the warehouse, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, Nissa. Nissa went outside to throw. Uh, so I've, got, yeah. I've got a couple questions, uh, <laughs> just so I can understand mathematically. How much? How much did I lose? A cat has two HP. Okay. And you so, took, you take the additional onto your normal form. So three. Okay. You took three so to I, Ray. Okay. So I'm at, so I'm at 13. Okay. Cause I was at 16. Okay. Uh, and I landed where? The other side. She just threw you over the, the, <laughs> the roof. Am I? Okay. So if I'm, if I'm looking at the map, am I, am I You're in the alley? Here. You're ba- behind oh, the warehouse. For fuck's sake. Hi, Ray. Oh, uh, he's over here with us, right? She went in the alley and threw him, and he ended up by us. She was going to throw him onto the roof, uh, so I assume that would be from, like, over here, and this just got launched, so he got launched that way. I can't breathe. I 
So you I'm just saying, we, we see this or no? You probably can't see him. He's just Never. behind the warehouse. <gasps> you guys are inside, right? Yeah. Yeah, the windows are boarded up. I would assume you can't see him. Or hear him. I should say hear him. might the... be able to hear him. that he's changed back? No. I guess it doesn't it He's doesn't on the other matter. side of the warehouse. Yeah. Uh, and is that is that where the uh, the gnome-shaped hole is? Is it on that side? It was, wasn't it? Or am, uh, I, am I mistaken? I don't think you guys went behind. I think you went through the I front. I think you went right in the, right through the, the front. front. So um, I, I think... You're on fresh snow. So... What was that huh. noise? That didn't sound very successful, or was it? Um, Maybe that was him getting on top. I, I think I'm going to uh, I wish I get up and try and take a breath and go, <gasps> and then I'm going to walk back around the front to where Nisse is and just, you know. If I, as soon as I hear him coming, I'm just gonna come to meet him. <sighs> Are you all right? <sighs> I'm so uh, sorry. Hey, you know. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. No, it's fine. I think next time you'll know. Um, can I, I can do this again, can't I? I think I can, t can I turn twice? I forget You've if I can turn twice. you got two wild shapes. You used one already. There's an entry on your character sheet. You just mark it down. Right. It's up to um, Ray if it's really that important. And I, I'm I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. I, I I'm, I'm almost positive after that. I like personally, Ray's gonna take that as time. Be like, maybe we should figure something else out. Let's go. Let's go back. I agree. Let's go back. Great. I'm so sorry. That definitely did not work as intended. It's not your fault. I could have landed on both feet. I don't know how to be a cat. It's not your fault. Okay. And so who do we see walking? Trying, first. friend. Which um, one of you ooh. walks in first? Ray, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be coming behind him, just kind of looking looking for anyone or anything so, yeah. behind so, us, just to get right. So I'll get in through the the hole, very noticeably disheveled, snow matted in my hair and down one side of me. So was the roof covered in snow or? Oh, you... He did not make it onto the roof. Yeah, I, I missed the roof. I think we need a better plan. Oh. I missed the roof. Okay. So, I, I don't want to I don't wanna try that again. Ray's own good. It's not yeah. her fault. I think I, I made myself too small. It's okay. Um. So, if we're going to... if I'd rather not go back outside right now, if that's okay. So, my okay. plan then? The regress... We are on alert. They have to make noise to come in here. I will stay awake on watch from here. Okay. I like this. Um, the aura? We could always have two people awake and watching, and then the rest sleeping, and just switch out a little bit sooner so more people get rest. That might be a good idea. No, 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 no. no every, sleep. Go, go to sleep. I've, I've got it. I just, I mean, maybe I overreacted by telling you guys, so... Maybe you didn't. Your instincts are good. It's all right. I've gotten some rest already. I, I, I'm gonna go to sleep. If you, you if should. you don't, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go ahead and. No, go, go. <laughs> Ray's go gonna to go sleep. over and take the armor off, and I'm definitely gonna brush as much snow off of me as I can and lay down in my bedroll. Okay. If you want, I could. Uh, help reassure our safety here. Yeah? I could ask and see if Azuth will show me if there is anything evil nearby. If you want, if that helps everybody sleep. That would be great. All right. Debbie likes the sound of that. Ooh, we could check the lantern too. Also a good idea. Okay. Uh, and he... Uh, he then just, it will take a bit. So I think it's going to take probably about 20 minutes, 10 to do the, the spell, or 10 to do the ritual of uh, detect good and evil. Uh, or I'm sorry, evil and good. Uh, and then he's also going to take the prior 10 minutes before that to actually 
request the spell. So he's going to put his hand over his, the pendant again, uh, and he's going to stand with his, uh, I think his hand, uh, his other hand, his right hand is over the pendant, his left palm is up in the air towards like as if he's receiving something, uh, and then he's going to close his hand, uh, close his eyes, and he's going to start muttering towards Azuth, uh, hoping to replenish his spell slots, a new spell slot, changing out healing word into detect evil uh, for this day coming up, and uh, he will then, uh, after that, he will then uh, do a concentration spell of con- of detecting evil and good. And I think how he will do that is uh, he has a bunch of different components in his in his bag, uh, and he looks around and he waits, uh, and he he puts on uh, he puts on a pair of goggles uh, that don't seem to fit him, uh, and then he tries to focus them, and as he's trying to focus them, there isn't really anything, there's no components, but it's like he's like rubbing his fingers across them, and as he does, uh, different bits and streaks of light uh, start to uh, trail across the surface of the goggles until they finally look like they're focusing, and the lenses of the goggles finally <laughs> uh, flicker on to a, like a, a fluorescent purple, and he just kind of looks around, uh, and these, these things are... <clears throat> You begin to try to look around to find any evil, and this searches up to 30 feet. 30 feet. You look around. Nothing seems to show itself as evil to you. Okay, uh, after a little bit, he takes off his struggles with the goggles and puts them back in his back in his satchel. We are right. That That's it? That's it? Alright. Why don't you go get some sleep? All we'll right. stay awake. Very well. And he goes right back into a gnome form and then swims out of the armor. It's just way easier for him apparently. Good night. Good night. So cute. Do you know you should probably sleep as well? I worry that we only have one way out of here. I mean, you don't trust me. No, of course I do. I just don't trust the people out there. You but do right. realize if you don't get enough rest that you will be, you know, very tired tomorrow, and, you know, you're not like the rest of them. They obviously can barely keep up with it, but, like, you know, I need you to be strong and healthy, and I cannot think of you being exhausted out there, you know, so get some rest. Just trust me, all right? All right. Just wake me at the first sign of danger. Yeah, of course. You're the first person. You're my, you're my first, my right hand. My my first mate. If we were, I don't want to talk about that. But yes, um, yeah. Same. Go to sleep. I um, wherever we are at the moment, if we're by the door, perhaps I'll I'll just curl up near her, just so she can literally like reach out and touch me to wake me. I'm gonna take off like my heaviest pieces of armor. Um, but keep them very close at hand. Okay. And Book returns to watch. The rest of your watch goes uninterrupted. So I, I spend most of the time hours just journaling. Time. I'm sorry. Yeah. What was that? I said I just been, uh, you know, a lot of the time um, between walking around and um, I'll like do a little journal, but other than that, it's mostly watching them. So, so for another uh, two hours or so, finish off the rest of your watch. Nothing seems to happen. Who's next? Can I can I just let them sleep the other the last two hours? You can if you want. Yeah, I do. Um so each 
Typically, there's three watches that uh, last about three hours um, because there's people that uh, need extra sleep, right, to make up for the difference for the watches. Um, you still need, like, an hour of sleep if you want to get a full rest or an uh, hour of meditation. Um, has Would everybody be full of their rest or if I wake somebody up or no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then I'll wake up, uh, Nessa. Okay. Nessa. It's your turn. Nothing happened. Don't worry. Thank you. And I'll be right here. Okay. As will I. And I'll, I'll get in the, like, I'll plant myself, like, right next to her, and, um, she's seen me do this before, but I literally go Indian style. I take off, um, the, uh, leather that I do have, and I'll lay it beside me, and then just, um, yeah, uh, go into meditation, into my trance, so. Okay. I'm used to that, so I just kind of put my armor on keep a lookout okay it only takes a, a couple minutes I think to put on hide armor um but you put your armor back on um you can give me a perception check your watch uh, goes uninterrupted. I just sit and look outside through the gnome-shaped hole, see the snow falling. Sometimes I look at Moonbrook just to kind of remind myself that she's here and there's one person I can trust in this world. And I'm lucky enough to have her with me. I think uh, everyone sort of begins to stir over the next little bit. However you'd like to wake up, you start waking up. You all get a full rest. Oh. You had any exhaustion? Uh, it cures one level of exhaustion. I'm slowly putting on armor. Listening to snoring, I guess. Oh, oh. Oh, I guess oh, I'm sorry. Good. I, I was muted. Uh, do do I roll for uh, hit hit points after that, or was it was that since you I was regain, in the middle of the night? You regain your full HP on a full rest. Uh, on a long also, rest. Also. Was the wild shape considered since it was at night time? Would I still have two today, or would it be like? You get it back. Through? Okay. Okay. Chippy. Chippy, wake up. What? Is there another monster? Oh, shh, 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 shh. No, no. Uh, yes, yes, there is. is. Well, don't think. Okay, yeah, why don't need the armor? Someone help me my armor. There's another need, monster. Oh, oh, give me a Leora. Can you need help with your Leora armor? dives into his armor and then also changes in like in the air he changes into changeling and and then his arms get the sleeves i'm never gonna get tired of that useful that's a good never it works really well and he stirs those that were up the rest of the night was uneventful oh there we go no more footprints we should get going. We need to feed the animals as well. We really, we really should. Oh, the animals. Yeah. Arr. And yeah, he starts to make his way out and like squeezes through the gnome-shaped hole. Yeah. And then he makes his way out towards Thrak. I'm gonna feed Thrak. the boy. Here you are, you. Here. This is for you. Shut, shut up. Here you are. Here you are. I follow him out. Are they all right? I heard nothing from them overnight. I think so. I think it's just... 
Just sleeping. There you are. Thrak eats two rations. You feed boy. Boy needs one. Are we hungry? Where is my mouth? Yikes. Chubby's tired. Ugh, frog's tired. What is it two rations? It? Two rations equal one feed, or is it two feed? Serving. So there was eight uh, rations in each feed bag. Got it, got it, got it. So feed rations compared to my rations. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay. What was that, Chubby? Chubby's just tired. What time is it? It's really hard to say. It's always... It is morning. How can you tell? Morning. Mm. We just get used to it. Jeffy's oh. used to seeing the sun. Same with Frog. Absolutely. But... I can't even bear not seeing the sun. You've uh. come to a land that hasn't seen it in a long time. Yeah. You really don't get used to it. I mean... Even when you get used to it, it's just... I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you don't think about it, though. So you're here long enough, you just sort of... You don't worry about it anymore. Well, the weather's still crappy. We need to decide what we're going to do. We still well, have to make our way up. But the yeah. I would right? suggest... Leaving this town... We can explore the alley where those footsteps went, if you all would like, but it feels like nothing but trouble. I, I would... think we should just keep moving. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with... I'm, with, uh, I'm in no state to explore so anything uh, potentially dangerous right now. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it's very cold, very tired. I haven't had we... any sort of coffee. Are we going north from here, or are we just going to go straight out towards the, um... I would say Karakonig would be good to stop in. And that's where the, check um... there to make sure that the people we're looking for were there first, right? See if we mm -hmm. can find out where they went. Maybe yes. we can find, uh, Boy's Master. Okay. Maybe they went back there. We don't know. Maybe he ran away. Well, uh, I'm ready to go with you guys, huh? Whoa, 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 buddy. All right, he's restless. All right. So, let's go. All right. And uh, we are making our way up and through town again. Yes? Up north? Mm. Ooh, <laughs> I'm going to put bags on the, the axe beak. All right. Is any, does anybody want to... <laughs> am I... Does anybody want to steer uh, the sled with boy today? Chappy can do it. Oh, oh. I oh. am already you know, spoken for. My role is already has been given to me. <laughs> and he changes into an old man again. All right, everyone. Now we must make our way up north through the rest here. Yeah. Because remember, we're on a tour. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Right. Follow me. Yes, this way. Chuppy, <laughs> why don't you get on the axe beak and let uh, Leoric lead? And you should Chubby drive, right? You can do that, too. Oh, all right, I got it. I'm um, going to get on this Nissel, you be guiding the axe beak, or are you letting Chepi steer it? Uh, either myself or Leoric can guide the axe beak. I don't mind guiding it. Okay. Oh. I guess I'll be in front. All right. Right beside you, I should say. I will bring up the back, then, with Moonbrook. You will. And up this is uh, known as um, the uh, main thoroughfare of uh, uh, and this is a, a slightly smaller house than the one on the right. And the one on our right, that looks like a fishing home, I think. Oh, there's people there. Hello. Yes. And he just continues trying to make up a, a tour That's as we go. That's fascinating. Wow. So much history here. I didn't. I never knew. Yes, uh, yes. And this is a, a well, I house. think. <laughs> Yeah, mm. it is. It's a lot That's smaller right. than Cheppy would have expected a house. Who lives in there? An old, tiny person? It's so funny you should ask, because... I don't um, think you can say... I don't think you can call people tiny people. I just want to... The be York was a gnome. He was short. He's tiny. He's adorable. Oh. Okay. Right. 
Was I not was I, was I not adorable? I think. Oh, you no, I, I'm not. You know what? Don't worry about it. You're. It's fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm, you I just lean over to him, Brooke, and say he was pretty Wonderful. adorable. But I don't let the rest right. of them hear it. We must, we must keep going, and I really do. I feel very anxious the more we are in this town. Let's. Oopsie uh, daisy, here we go. And he just tries to funnel everybody through a, a, an eager tour up north and out and toward, towards Kirkonic. On the and now we're out back. of town. Can we town, see okay. anything? Like, are there people looking at us as we're leaving? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, you can see them, uh, basically like people peeking through, uh, shades and, and, uh, you know, protected windows and stuff, um, uh, as you're making your way out. There are smokes, uh, uh smokestacks, like, coming out from the, 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 the chimney, um, the chimneys as you pass, but you see that, I mean, there's a path north to Kerkonig, uh, to Kerkonig. Um, that seems to be open. Um, people are definitely watching you, and they're not really trying to hide it. I'm gonna try and look like a tourist. Be like, oh, mm, yes, yes. Now, oh, there we go. yes. They've oh, don't wave to maybe the seen. Please. I don't know if they've ever seen me before. Maybe Moonbrook. I just kind of. I mean, I can't hide, so I just kind of look like I belong there. Like, maybe I'm a bodyguard for the travelers or something. Okay. I feel like Cheppy would be sitting there doing, like, the queen wave kind of thing, just, like, waving <laughs> at people as they walk by. Just her and Frog, she'll, like, grab his little paw and just... <laughs> Daryl just has his hand on his sword. He's just, he's in the... He's supposed to get out of here. Who's leading the way? Oh, just to clarify. Was, I'm I'm with Leoric, but I'm a little bit in front of him, but more to his side than anything. Leoric's so leading them just, out of town and then yeah. then probably giving up the leading the leading role. Make it out of town. And here I thought this was gonna be inconspicuous, but everyone's waving to everyone. Alright, great. Well this is uh geez, this did not yeah. go well. Uh, hide in the open. I, the fear we left uh, uh, I fear we left an impression. Jebby leaves good one, impressions everywhere she goes. I think this one was gnome shaped. Very <laughs> 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 this that's that's a uh, you got a wit about you. I didn't know that. <laughs> Very quick. All right, so uh, we uh, you can take over Moonbrook. I don't know where, exactly where we're going now. This is not enough. Let me look at the map. All right. Yes, this way. Moonbrook, you can make a survival check with advantage. Right. Heck yeah. Don't don't do me dirty though. Alright. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, with Moonbrook guiding and your animals uh, helping you along the way, you travel to Care Conag. And The white, snow-covered slopes of Kelvin's Cairn loom large behind this quiet lakeside town. Herr Koenig started as a camp for a group of mountaineers from the northern Moonsea region. As it is known today, it consists of terraced rows of houses that recede from the shore of Lac Denisher the tears of an amphitheater. The harbor is frozen, its docks skewed and broken by the shifting ice. Buried under the snow on the slopes above the last row of houses are the ruins of the care that gave the town its name, a reminder to the people of Karakunig that nothing lasts in this corner of the world. This is quite a magnificent sight. Uh, yeah, a little dilapidated sight, but 
I guess it's magnificent too. It's just how they're all built on top of each other. I like it. The People closer live we however, get. However they can here. Yeah. No, I... Oh, I see. The closer we get to this. The more depressing it gets. You and you've all been living like this the whole time, like for for a while now. Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. I don't but this this is this is bad. I I, I haven't seen anything quite at this point. This is the leader of this town. Sure. The speaker is also a silver dragonborn, a retired adventurer. But I've never talked to him. I tried some time ago. I do you know? in to see him. Do you know anything about him? Good guy, bad guy. Like to drink, right? We have the alcohol yes. for him. Chebby likes Amen. alcohol as well. Maybe he'll talk to Chebby. Chebby drink yeah. him under the table. I actually like that idea. If we get a chance, but that's if we even need to do that. Um, I wanted to bring him some of Moonbrook's mead once upon a time. Mm. But we're a bit beyond that now. Y- yeah, but they're... I don't think they appreciate the good mead here, so... Right, what were we supposed to do here? I know that we are supposed to head to the west to look for the, um... the, the missing cart, but what was exactly here? Right, well, uh, we, are, uh, we are looking for the person. Uh, we were going to stop here to uh, talk with the, 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 um, the uh, talk with the, and look around for the, the guy who got eaten by the, the, wind, the, uh, the yeti, right? Is that what we're what, doing? Well, we're gonna check uh, and see if that's on the way to... to. Right. So, um, boys, boys, master, which I I can't remember the name. I've got it written down. The husband. So. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Garrett. Oh, hold on. I got an idea. Was it Garrett? He, he may have been lost anywhere between here and where we need to go next. So yeah. So we should probably why don't... ask around. You guys well, we can, can do make that. a. Um, someone can make a history check with advantage. I'm not doing it. I refuse. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I will do it. Never mind. I have, oh. I have a history. Okay. I will not do it. it. I failed every history Add check. Have the barbarian make the history check. That's good. <laughs> I said I'd do it, but she wants to do it. And go for it. You honestly I cannot makes... remember the name of the place in that you were supposed to go to in Kerkonic. Oh, shit. All right. Um, so I have an idea. Boy is hyper all the time. So why don't we just... Let boy off the leash. See where he goes. It's a great idea. Good plan. What that if we tied him to a, What if we tied him to a rope so he couldn't run away and get lost? We could just at least, you know, put a rope to his collar and let him go farther. That way ah. he doesn't get lost in the snow and we can find I thought, him. Do we have him on the leash? I thought we had him on the leash. Oh, no, no. On the, well, I, I have... I don't feel really comfortable putting animal. I mean, this... Putting him on the sled was already sort of tough enough on me. Animals really should be... You know, Wait, do you want him to get lost and eaten? I don't think he's going to get We're lost quick. seeing we that... We follow him. Seeing that his master has died and he was with him, right? We don't he know ran if his we don't, we don't know. We don't know if he died. It's idea. Okay, I'm going to eat the on the... I agree. I agree. Right. I didn't get that. Um, Thundercast. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, untie him. And then if you guys just... You know, maybe who who wants to try and follow him? Who's who's got some swift feet? We all should. Well, I mean, we got the axe beak and the sled, and I don't think us run through town after a I, dog. I can follow great. him. It's fine. I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty swift. So, anyone else gonna go with her? I will maybe as I can, much as I can keep up. To? Okay. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna bend down and untie him and see what he does. Okay. Uh Okay, uh you sort of untie him from the sled and the boy uh starts to run around you. This... Okay. Uh I thought he would kind of go off on his own. Sure, yeah, I, I did too. Him. Go on. Uh, yeah. where, where's oh. your master? Where's your guy? Hey, get huh? his piece master. of that trout, and we'll throw it, and then see if he goes gets it. No, I don't Who think that's necessary. Who thinks Ray's his master now? 
I'm not. Perhaps you don't have somebody. any child on you. Perhaps his former master wasn't lost in town, but outside of it. Perhaps Maybe. we should ask. You know, that's fair. Yeah, okay. And if Maybe it's been a while, then that... Okay. It was inside you the whole time. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. Thank you. I don't, I don't either. No, it sounds Sorry, nice. It's been, it's been a long travel and I'm going. That sounds nice. It's crazy. I'm a little touched. Um, may, yeah, maybe we can go to one of the, uh, local taverns and we can ask. I, Cause, <laughs> no, no offense, boy, but you're useless. I agree. You are useless. <laughs> no, not completely useless. You're pretty good. You pulled it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think you're useless at all. So, um... Ke okay, so we're, was it Keegan? Keegan was the um, the man that you met in um, Bryn Shander, the husband of Garrett. Garrett is the one that's so lost. Garrett's the one. That's Garrett Karn, Six Dogs Adventures. Care. Okay. So yeah, um, I guess let's uh, find the local tavern and. At least ask. Maybe uh, I, I don't. And know. And no I mean. drinking, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chubby's not agreeing to this. Come on, just one. No, we've done? got things to do. Are what we if done? Chubby takes it to the road. We need to find this person as fast as we can. So we just split up and start asking if we've seen anybody pass through that looks like him. Yeah, we can. We can come back for drinks later. All right, fine. You promise? You I promise. promise of course. Later. I need a drink I after promise. this, I'm sure. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So, Wait. you guys yeah. are doing... You're going to split up and ask people? How are you doing? <laughs> uh, no. well, I was going to go with Lior, but I have no idea where he's at. Okay, there he is. <laughs> um, he, just, he just walked ahead of everybody. Um, I catch up with Lior. No, I don't want to um, split up. You never split yeah. up the party. <laughs> I, I mean, if we're all going to, we all need breakfast. We haven't really eaten yet today, or lunch, or whatever time it is. So, I would say we all should go and make a purchase at the tavern of food, and then while we're there, ask the barkeep. Yeah, I definitely want to go to the tavern and ask whatever the closest. Yeah, let's one. get some trout. Everyone goes to the tavern. Come we on, might as well. I'm good. Trout. Don't need it. We can go. I want some trout, so let's go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we wait. He just follows. Sure. Where is that? So, yeah. where's the closest tavern? Should I roll is for it? I don't. I don't think I've ever been here. Actually, I've no, I've, I have no idea. I Nissa, have no idea Nissa, either. Nissa, Nissa's uh, been in this town before. Nissa, you can you can roll a history check. <laughs> yes, that went great last time. <laughs> Is there even a tavern here? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> You're ba we are never letting you roll history again. <laughs> See, I thought I was Ever. bad. Holy crap. It's like, what is history? This is the outhouse. <laughs> this is the outhouse. Potent drink in the toilet. <laughs> Nissa, hello. Uh, to Nissa, why did you just zone out like that? I'm sorry. So, just... I'd like to know, basically, how are you doing this, Nissa? <laughs> you, you, what, do you, what does your face look like as you try to remember? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm uh, deep in thought. Deep in thought. Like, kind of like daydreaming or something. Steam um, slowly rising from <laughs> Nissa's ears. <laughs> I... I think she's constipated. <laughs> Look at her face. Honestly, I've I've asked like every person in town how to get in touch with the speaker, and they all either ignored me or ran off or gave me dirty looks. Nobody here ever wanted to talk to me, and so I've actually never been to the tavern here. But there has to be one somewhere. Maybe one of you could ask one of the other people just walking I'll, down the street. I'll ask. I'll no, ask. Why would you ask? You might ask Because I'm a people person. It's fine. <laughs> so you guys came from uh, the path here from Cair Dineval this way. 
Right. Okay. Um, yeah, as you, uh, you're just going to look for somebody to talk to? Yeah, anybody that's close, just ask where local tavern is. Sure. Um, this house up on the left here, or uh, north on the map, um, but your left, uh, as you walk out, you can see that there is somebody that's out um, leaning against some barrels. And you can see that they have a bottle of what you would assume to be alcohol in their hand. Um, <clears throat> it is a silver dragonborn. It It is... <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up to him, and uh, say. I, I just like look to Moonbrook in shock that he's out in the town. I don't even know what to do. I'm just. Are we staring. all with Ray? Are we with him or not? I would have walked ahead. Like as soon as I'll I said, I, I, I'll find somebody. Okay. How far ahead? How far I mean, away? Can we see you or no? Yeah, I, I, I mean, if you guys were following, I don't think I sprinted away. Though, and we were still pretty close to the front, so you, I, I'd imagine you'd probably see me walking up okay. to this guy. I'm trying to miss uh, So, so that's 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 a silver dragonborn. If I've never seen one, it, is that one? Yes. Is that who we're looking for? You have for? seen one. She's right here. I. Well, yes. I've never actually seen him out and about in the town. Well, Perfect. He looks like he's deep in drink. Hopefully, and we just let Ray cut loose on him. Oh, yeah, I don't think I hear any of this. I'm definitely... No, no, we're just trying to talk to him. This will be brilliant. <clears throat> I've been trying to talk to him for ages. Well... Chebby's worried that Ray might get killed. <laughs> if okay. he... If he treats with this dragonborn the same way he treated with us at first, he might. We should go back him up. So are you guys catching up to me, or am I going to get to this guy first? I mean, oh, I'm just going to get to him first, but we'll, I'll yeah, catch go. up to you. We'll I'm just like, behind. I don't know. Okay. So I don't know how close you guys are, but I'm definitely having really? my hand in the raise, uh, my hand raised. Hey, buddy. Hey. Like ten, ten feet behind you, I'd be. Mm. And then I see him I'm like, hey. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Hi there. What how you do doing? You want? A uh, little bit of ale, not yours. Just uh, trying to find where that is. You know, where'd you get that? You, you're looking for drink. Oh yeah, you know I'm a big fan. Mm. Mm. He points along the uh, northern part of the path this way. Follow the path. Hmm. Mm. <clears throat> There's a tavern near the square. Oh, Northern Light. Northern Light. Okay, mm. is there a sign in front of it, or will I just not miss it? A lot of people in there, in and out. Of course, there is. There's a sign. Okay. Okay, that's all I needed. You have yourself a good one. Hey, guys! I, I know where the tavern is. Uh, what? Like it. Is it safe? Is what safe? Is he gonna kill you? Jebby, I thought you were gonna die. Ray, you do realize that is a silver dragonborn. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I've i seen a dragonborn. It's not that shocking to see another. But there's not many silver. Oh. What? How does he feel about changelings? Oh, Hello. I, I don't know. I guess you just I, go ask Ray. I'll. All right. I'm. I'm really sorry no. to ask you this, but how do you mm. feel about changelings? Changes. What kind of changes? We got a. With, no, we got a guy, and he can, like, he can look like you if he wants to. Does that bother you? If he looks like you? Why, I'm a very handsome man. I absolutely agree with that. Are we are we walking up to him now? Moonbrook is pushing Nissa up to the the speaker to try to talk to him. 
Trovis? Go talk to him. Go talk to him. <clears throat> uh, who speaks my name? I am Nissa of Bear Tribe. Bear Tribe. A barbarian from the Reghead tribes. Barbarian. What are you doing here? I came here looking for help for my tribe. I tried to talk to you, but couldn't find you back then. Mm -hmm. Well, you're here now. Do you want to come to the tavern with us? Perhaps mm, we could all I'm sit. I'm on patrol. Hmm. Patrol looking for dangers? Of course. Dangers abound in Icewind Dale. Have you had much trouble in town recently? Give me a persuasion check. He's really drunk. Nothing I can't handle. Mm. Do you have the ability to help anyone outside of town, perhaps? Mm. We have our own problems. If that alcohol is your problem, Teppy can take it off your hands. I don't think that's a good idea. Don't do that. Mm. I, if, mm. if I could just jump in, I was just asking this guy for directions, and he's you're a nice guy. I don't know why we're having a conversation with him. Uh, Nissa knows him. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't really feel like you guys know each other. But so, like she knows of him, so yeah, that yeah, I get that. He seems busy. You know, I don't want to get up and very, there. very busy. They he agrees with me. Would you like some help on patrol, perhaps? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm not too old to make my way around town. But having another set of arms could always benefit. Bah. Be on your way. Go have Cheppy, like, drink peeks her head. Be up over Nissa, and she looks at the dragonborn. What about some drinking friends? You can make a persuasion check. Uh, just a normal one. Still looking for a person who has been lost, and I don't know if they are still alive. Yeah, I'm. If you guys can have a conversation, I think I'm going to go ahead on down to the tavern. And I'll meet you guys there. Huh? I'll just start asking some questions. I will join you. Great. Let's go. Okay, so, we're splitting up when we said we was. Oh, dear. So, who's taking the uh, axe beak and the dog sled? Where's boy going? Because you guys unhitched boy from the dog sled. Leoric has Thrak. Okay. Uh, I have boy. Dog sled just think sitting I, back. Like I here. definitely left. I definitely left the sled. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to push the sled. Uh, I'll go back and push the sled. Okay. It's heavy <laughs> as hell, but you can do it. Yeah, I, it's heavy. I, I want to go help Moonbrook, but I'm also kind of like. No. This is fine. I got this. Chepi goes you, back and helps Moonbrook. Would you meet us at this tavern that you told us of? After you're done with patrol, we can buy you more drink. Ah, uh, more drink. Um, yes, it's fine. I could always use to top up, I suppose. After I do a round of the patrol, I'll stop on by. We'll see you there then. Mm. And I turn away and go help Moonbrook. Daryl's just standing there. He's like so confused at this point. He's just like, 
We said we weren't going to split up, but we're splitting up. This is the Dragonborn that we needed to talk to, but yet we're not talking to him. I'm so confused. He just kind of like, why he said he just kind of looks up at Dragonborn. Oh, um, hello. Ha, yes. Mm. I, um, yeah. Nice night. And then he just kind of like, um. You're a sun elf, aren't you? Why, why, yes. Slowly becoming a, an ice elf. <laughs> Cause, uh. you know. <laughs> 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 Mm. Uh, yes. Mm. No ice. Sense. Cause it's ice wind dale and it's cold. Yes. Absolutely. Mm. Good. Yes. Well, um uh, would you by chance go by the title the speaker? Yeah. I'm the speaker, so that of course would make sense. Right. Good. We really hope to see you. At the tavern. Oh, the I'm, tavern, yes. Yes, and it's uh, down that way. Yes? Mm. Yes. Yes, that way. Follow the path north and... See the town square. All right. Good luck on your patrol. <laughs> yes. Mm. Uh, remember, I self. And he just kind of like walks in a direction. <laughs> That's not know where he's going. <laughs> Continue following the path north. Oh, okay, mommy. All, All right, cool. Because I'm, I'm going to go straight to the. I want to go to the tavern, if I can. Sure. All right. She said north. Ew. Everything looks the same out here. Eyes are so dreary. I'll just keep continuing to go in the direction that he first pointed. You head along the path, following around to what looks to be like a town square. There's a few people milling about. It's definitely busier than Care Dineval, that's for sure. Um, and there's people out, and they look like they're talking. There's people that probably are staring at any of any of you that are making their way uh, in. But you can see that the inn is lit up, um, and um, you can see that there's a sign for the for the Northern Light, um, and uh, the, uh, the the speaker, uh, I think, is he's not following you, but he's heading along that path as well, just okay. sort of stumbling his way along. Um, he looks like, you know, he's stopping here and there, probably, like, looking around and whatnot. Uh, oh, oh, um, that's awkward. Did I do something, say something wrong? There's a few so bundled up people that sort of are, like, shuffling, shuffling between snow-battered houses and whatnot. Um, mainly people are sort of keeping their heads down. Um, but the, they barely maybe give you a look, if anything. So he just kind of like nods if he sees anybody. <sighs> he said the tavern, no, there was a, is the inn with the tavern or the inn is just, is it close or is it further down? Well, it, the inn is the tavern basically. Okay. Oh, here we are. <sighs> you can see the rest okay. of the group is, uh, is there as well. I'm glad you made it. You get lost? I got directions from... And just kind of like... Mm -hmm. Did he say anything ah. slightly more coherent? Well, I made him laugh. Yeah. And um, I asked what direction the tavern was and he pointed in three. So I think we're going to have a fine conversation later. That's for sure. Hey, he seems like a nice guy. Um, I, yes, I guess so. But I confirmed he is the speaker. Um, he's why? still the speaker right now. He's still he's still the speaker. Why do we need to talk to him again? I I wanted his help with those berserkers I told you about, but oh. he seems not so capable. 
as I thought he might be. And okay. yeah, maybe catching him on a bad day. We all have bad days. But I was hoping that he knew about the accident that happened. Maybe news travel. We could ask. I don't think asking him right now is a good idea. Maybe the 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 innkeeper might know something. People mm-hmm. passing in that all the time. Well, I was going to go. If now, he actually. comes and drinks with us, perhaps we can just casually ask him some questions. Yeah. Sure. So you guys are still around. You guys are still outside the uh, the inn. Uh, are you tying up the animals? What are you doing? I'm gonna bring. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna bring dog in with me. Boy? I think, or uh, the uh, boy in with me. So. I uh, yeah. Thrax getting tied up out front. Stay here, Thrax. Okay. Uh, I'm, finally, I make it. <laughs> I'm, I'm helping. pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, Sh- shut up, shut up, okay. Chippy wants to try and sneak into the bar first without anybody noticing. Yeah, stealth check. This is just versus passive perception. 15. Uh, Ray and Moonbrook, you notice Chippy peeling off. Uh, uh, uh. I wasn't going to say like, anything. I'll, yeah. Debbie was I just going to go snatch. get at the table. She's just like, drag back. Debbie was just going to go get a table. Make sure that there was something there for all of us in Frog. Yeah, later. We've got things to do. We've got people to see. I thought we were going to go inside and see people. No, Leoric is going to go inside and talk to the innkeeper. Um, and, the... and yes, I'm going to go inside and talk to locals. And Chebby's gonna go inside no, and get a table. You're staying outside with me. Dreads. Great. <laughs> right. So just me and Leork then. Uh, no, I'm going in. So what are you talking about? I'm going in. Well, I don't know if that's a good idea. Do you owe anybody money here? I've never been here. It's a I've very ne- good point. Maybe you should ne- look at the animals. I've never. No, I've never been here. I've never you know, been here. Boy is restless. He barks a lot. You might need to. Yeah, but like, and someone might notice and go, "Oh, I, hey, I I've seen this care dog." Boy, and- if Ray wants to go inside. It's probably wise. He's never been to this town, but he's been to this land at least. No, I, I'm no. I, let me let me take the dog inside and say. You know, hey, innkeeper, have you seen the this dog? Did you see the people the dog was That's a good idea. I do want yeah, to yeah, mention to everyone that there is, there is a lost person, and they may be dead. And if that is the case, it's probably our fault because we are taking so long. Um, <laughs> I just want to make, just want everyone to know that is probably what's happening. So I guess we could probably take our time now because it probably did. But um, we have, um, uh, I will, I will be asking questions and I will be That's... trying to find out uh, where this person is. That's pretty dark. I'm following. Uh, well, I mean, it's weird. It's been happening. We just we need to worry with something we need to worry about. This person Garrett is, and their husband has been uh, looking for them for a while, and we've just been like, okay, let's go out another drink. We should yeah. probably really be worried about this person who's probably dead. Okay, you have a point, Leoric. Okay, everybody, go inside real quick, as quick as you can, and ask us right. no. questions. Go. Said, uh, all right, absolutely. Go. Oh, gonna go. God. Gonna follow okay, Leoric right, right in. Go Come on, in. boy. Mm-hmm. All right, a uh, boy follows you in. You walk into the tavern. In the tavern. Which is pretty empty. Um, it's not uh, It's not completely empty, but it's not anywhere close to what you saw in Kaer Um <clears throat> The uh, The inn does appear to be mostly empty, though, and a young woman looks up as you enter. Um... And uh, who's the first one to enter? Me, because I was like, I wanted to push Leork aside because I've been trying to say this the whole time. We need to just do stuff. Anyway, guy. Right. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you enter, Teriel, and the woman uh, gives you a smile and says, uh, Hello, welcome. Hello. Um, thank you. Ah. Oh. Are you uh, the owner of this establishment? I'm one of them. My name is Allie. Allie? Nice to meet you. I'm Terriel. My I... sister Corey is working in the kitchen. Would you like some food and some drink, maybe? 
Mm, kind of looks like Lior. Maybe, um, maybe in a bit. Um, but Barry, I, let's cut to the chase. Have you met a person named Garrett who's coming through here and they look like I think they were a mountain climber? Um, I say, um, have you seen them? The name sounds familiar. I think they okay. did stop okay. by. Actually, if, if, if that's familiar, does this dog look familiar? Well, there are uh, lots of dogs that, uh, that, that they, they come from, they usually come from the frozen far, uh, expeditions. Yes, I'm so sorry. I did, we didn't mean to overwhelm you with so much rudeness. <clears throat> um, there's someone that is lost and we're looking for them and they were on expedition. Leoak, do you have the details written down? Uh, yes, they were mountain climbers. They went uh, up towards uh, Kelvin's Cairn. Uh, they got lost up there. Um, and then uh, they were eaten by Yetis. Oh, no, that's, that's a different person. Um, that is, um, so we don't know where they are. Um, but they, uh, and then they were... Um, well, well uh, I, 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 as I said, I, I, I think I remember this person. They stopped in for some food with a, with okay. a party. I think they were headed to the Frozen Far expeditions, just... Up hmm. the hill there. Okay. All right. Um. Thank you very much. Yes. Moon, Moonbrook and Cheppy, where were you going? Cheppy's outside with Moonbrook, right? Okay. Just so out? you're just waiting outside. I'm just double checking. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Trovis was not allowed in. Trovis is making his way up to the end already. So we're we're just standing outside. You're, yeah, you're standing outside. Trovis is making his way up, and he just he nods his head as he walks past. Just walks right into the inn. <laughs> oh, okay. Can we go in now? <laughs> yes, go in. <laughs> Chippy just busts in the door. And Terry will just sees her just lightning past. <laughs> oh, let her. Oh. Around in the house, Chappie's gonna pay. No, no, Chappie, we have to. Someone's dying or dead. Allie seems to disregard Chappie as Trovis walks in. She says, Did you fall asleep outside again? I'm telling you, Trovis, one day you're going to have to stop relying on the kindness of strangers. Heat up something for Trovis. He's been out. Patrolling again. Mm-hmm. Trovis like sits down like at the bar. Another can you fill me up? I just step over to Moonbrook and I shake my head and I say I worry there is no help here for us. No, I mean, not, no, no, certainly not. Not from this guy. Not at all. Um, I kind of lean in towards the barkeep lady, and uh, you said patrolling, but you kind of said it kind of weird, like, you mean, like, patrolling, wink, wink? Or patrolling, like, he actually is patrolling, but, you know. So, I'm sorry, think, w- w- did you ask me something? Yeah, sorry. Well, I'm sorry, Wings I missed that. What was that? Is he... I, I caught your voice. You said that he was patrolling, but, like, does he really patrol or, like... Is you're asking... Like I'm sorry, you're asking Allie this. Yes. Oh, okay, I missed that part. So, I, sorry, sorry if that no, was no. confusing. Sorry. Okay. Um, so, Allie uh, sort of, like, looks at you. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. Uh, persuasion. Okay. She rolls her eyes, and she says, There's been a lot of thefts in town lately, and the speaker has taken it upon himself 
to try to patrol to find them. Am I getting like any weird vibes off her? Like inside check. Okay. Sorry, sorry, fam. You don't think so. Okay, yeah, sorry. Sorry to hear about your um blunders. Um look, we were just heading out, so um don't mind us and I push Cheppy away. <laughs> if you're with the others, I think that they were asking about the man, uh, his name was Garrett. He was here the other yes. day with a group. I believe they were heading up to the Frozen Far Expeditions just up the hill. As far as you know, they made it out of town? I don't know. I saw them once. And Trovis, you would say he is a capable leader? She looks over to the side. Trovis is there, and you can see uh, her sister, most likely, has sort of walked out with some food and uh, refills Trovis's drink, and he says, ah! Good. Mm. He bends over, he smells the knucklehead trout, probably. Starts to dig in. He is capable. He is well distracted these days, I think. But he was once a great adventurer. Do you know what inspired him to do great things? You'd have to speak to him about that. Thank you. Are you heading out already, or did you need any food or drink that I could help you with? We should probably eat. I... We, we've got to go. Um, oh, I, sure. Thank you so much. Look, um, I'll pull out um, a gold piece and hand it to her for your troubles. Oh, and thank um, you. you. No, thank you so much. And we will be back, I promise. Um, and I'll actually give, um, I'll buy him around, Troval, around, Trovis. tell him it's from her, <laughs> and, um, yeah, we got, we gotta go. Thank you, Mike. All right, I will. Be safe. Stay warm. You as well. She nods just... her head. You can hear Trovis say, uh, Nothing like some good food to start the day. And he, he says, Oh, and who's this from? You can see Allie point over towards Nyssa. Mm. He holds up his drink. I just oh, bookmark that. I'll come back. And then nod so, my head at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and follow Moonbrook. And I, I kind of just put my hand on Moonbrook's shoulder and kind of squeeze for a second and just say, thank you, friend. Just a drink. Don't worry about it. We got together. <laughs> and out you go. And we rush out the door. And you head out to Frozen for our expeditions, and that's where we're going to take our break. So, if you haven't done so, please make sure you follow all of these wonderful people. They're excellent role players, and follows are free. Go make it happen. Make sure you give them a follow. And if you have yourself a Prime Gaming sub that you haven't used yet, consider throwing it their way. Go sub to them. Go get yourself some emotes. Go support these wonderful people. We're going to take a bit of a break, and Rhyme of the Frost Maiden will return soon. And maybe, just maybe the group might actually get to Kelvin's Cairn. We'll see. Hang tight for more rhyme in just a bit. And make sure that if you enjoy a little bit of scandal, just a little bit, maybe a lot, maybe a lot of scandal, tomorrow we've got a special state of affairs returning. 
That's correct. The state of affairs. It's tomorrow, right? I'm just making sure. It's tomorrow, yeah? It's either tomorrow or next week, but I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. Yes, okay, great, awesome. I know things, shut up. Uh, we're going to be back in just a little bit. Hang tight, everybody. State of Affairs tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern, if you enjoy some scandal. We'll be back in just a bit. Yeah. Are we ready? I, I suppose I we should head out. When yeah. I was going to go to the frozen var, as apparently that is where uh, the G Garak was seen last. Um, yes, let's do but that. But we do, we just want to go east. I mean, I feel like they're probably just going to say they probably went west. Well, let's make sure that he passed that place, since that's where he was going. We'll at least know he was alive when he was Right, in we town. know he went to the cairn, but we don't know where on the cairn. And I'm sure this uh, frozen var, if this is a sort of expedition place, then they would probably know exactly where on the cairn he went. Good idea. And he kicks open the door. <laughs> Chubby is here. We need information. There's a man lost. You head to uh, frozen far expeditions. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, you sort of bust through the door. There's dogs. But as I do, yeah, I turn into a dwarf. Yeah, there's there's dogs like outside, um, sort of like barking, um, and probably boy sort of like uh, struggles not to like rush over towards them um, as you as you make your way in. Somebody uh, sort of like looks up immediately as you. I do. As you uh, do this, hello. Hey, uh, looking for uh, another fella who looks uh, goes about my height. Uh, also, uh, same sort of skin goes by uh, Garrett. Uh, seem to be uh, making their way up towards the cairn. You see a man, um, probably a bit uh, grizzled, um, sort of look up at you. Um, has some, like, frostbite scarring on his cheeks. And Ooh. he, um, he says, Garrett, Garrett, you know Garrett? Aye, well, I don't know of him, but we're, we're worried that he may be, uh, may be lost. Or he passed through here, is that true? That's correct, he didn't return back. Uh, but he was well when he, when you last saw him. Yes, a few days ago. Uh, name's Jartha. Nissa. All right. Do you know where he was going? Going up to Kelvin's Cairn. Do you know exactly where though? Did he talk to you about it? Do you have any trails that are like a natural way that most people go through? Hey, cliff faces, anything like that? I can lead you there. Run you Perfect. ten gold pieces. For the whole way. That's correct. Lead you to the base. Would you lead us the same route that they took? And do that? We can split it, I say to Moonbrook. Yeah, let's do it. Still waiting for the eight point five gold for the uh for the the, the act. I but ignore yeah, the York. <laughs> Chubby um, looks the man up and down. Does he look like, look capable? Does he look strong? Look like a fighting man? He looks, uh, you can give me an inside check. Hmm. You're not sure exactly what this guy can do. Um, he is working at, uh, like an expedition place. Um, you assume that he can at least take care of himself. Okay. Two apiece. I just give two gold to Moonbrook to give to take him. Ten and a half each, and I'll take the two. And I'll take the eight and a half from... Jebby already it. gave you your money. All right, you did. Okay. That dog okay, looks I'm familiar. You, I'll give you money, yeah. That's his you seen, dog. <clears throat> you, you, you've seen the boy before? You've seen this dog? 
Yeah, that I have. That's Garrett's. That's Garrett's boy, isn't it? Yes, that that's yeah. Mm. Uh, funny enough, he found us. Um, uh, Garrett's been through here a few times. Very uh, capable mountaineer. Been surprised that he hasn't come back. I just assumed that, uh, well, he didn't have a need to come back here. Didn't know there would be any problems. His husband hired us to find him. He never returned home. Ah. I, that is troubling. Hmm. Troubling indeed. Have hmm. you heard of any dangers at Kelvin's Cairn? Does he actually look troubled as well? I think with your six insight, uh, you can't make him out at all. <laughs> well, all right, are we paying this man? Are we as far go? as trouble goes, there's plenty. Kelvin's Cairn has, well, there's all different kinds of difficulties if you try to climb the mountain. Uh, have any of you ever climbed a mountain before? Um, I, no. I've, I've climbed hills. <clears throat> Plenty of hills. Well, Kelvin's I... Cairn's the tallest mountain here in Icewind Dale. So, if you have right. never climbed a mountain before, yes, you could easily run into some trouble. There's plenty of ways for you to lose your footing. Uh, I assume you have rope. Um, checks his back. He has rope. Yes, mm, I, I have rope. Mm. Rope. Um, you need to watch out for uh, severe weather, avalanches, uh, and the Jeffy's occasional animal. Jeffy's already survived an avalanche. Oh, well, good for you. There's maybe wolves and occasionally maybe a yeti. And, uh, and you're just going to take us to the base of this thing, right? That's Not right. Listen, I like Garrett, but, uh, well, take a lot more money to make me go up Kelvin's Cairn. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you know the route he would have taken up the mountain? Uh, I can probably guess. Pretty common. You know what, there, I, then. I was thinking maybe we just go get a drink. You know, maybe just, uh... Go get a drink, forget about it. If we have to go climb a mountain, right? We're not going to have to We do have that, to go right? this route anyway, Guy. Leoric. The 50 gold. Right? <sighs> what? Um, no, fine. I thought it was 10 gold. 50 from that other expedition. They were also headed that way. You can make a history check, Anissa. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, they gave us the one joke. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know what you're talking about. For fuck's sake! Why am I rolling history? Excellent. So I don't remember. Sick. You're definitely sure this was the way to go. <laughs> but but I know that it's different because, like, I literally said that earlier. So. Sure. If you remember, you can say what you remember. Yeah, no, the other people. The iron people, they gave us the gym. They're halfway. Remember, they pointed it out on Banaham, the map. Uh, clan, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, mm -hmm. this is just for Garrett. Now, I'm willing to do what it takes to save this poor soul and pay this man ten gold to take us there, if we can get there safely. However, you know, we can also save some money and maybe I can get us there or, you know, what, whatever you think, so. Well, I would like to ask a question here. Right, would you give us a moment here, sir? As I yes. then turn to the group. So, here's the deal. Why are we doing this again? I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to risk it for this man. In the mountain. Now, the dwarves is a different story. That's profit. And possibly information about... Why we came here in the first place. We're doing it because we said that we would try, so that is why we're doing it, so. Why are, why did we agree to it in the first place? Do we owe him anything? We gave someone our word. We should do it. Yeah, yes, I think it's we, an honorable thing if you say you're going to do something. We also you go ahead got and try dog it. from him. But 
dog can re- I'm not trying to be. No, I, I, you know, you, you, you're not wrong. Here. It's I sort of out of our way. I don't I, know if we need this guy. I don't know if we need him. It's but not only I that. guess if this dude's his friend, we could just go ask him to go check on him. He probably I don't th- knows he, him and his what his husband better. He's not gonna do it. He just said. I mean, if he thinks something happened to uh, to, to, to he can check the base where the dwarves told us. Yeah, but he's not gonna go out that way unless he. Why don't, don't we go have to the base, and then we can move our way around to where we're supposed to go for the the dwarves? So, you know, we gave this person our word, and trust me, as someone who's lived here my whole life—well, not my whole life, but a good part of it recently—I I can say that I don't like going out and taking a risk like this. But we gave someone our word. If we didn't do that, then I would say, fuck it. But we right. So gave someone bare, our word. bare minimum. Let's go to the base, take a look. We don't see anything, just screaming at us. Ah, I've been, I'm dead. Then we'll we'll go, we'll go okay. in the other direction, and and what? Well, yeah. All right. Let's have Jarta here pointed out on the map where uh, where this cliff face or wherever this where our uh, uh, Garrett was seen last, or at least where he knows that he was. And then we'll go and take our own route there. Or we maybe pay him an extra two gold, and then he brings us there. But we pass through the valley first. I'm oh. here on oath to Leoric. I don't want to sound rash, but I pay him. I am in deep oath. To keep him alive, he is not going to survive that climb. Not now. Well, no, we don't. Ha- we don't. We don't have to go up it. Yeah, we never we just- said we would. No, 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 no. We're just going to go to the bottom, take or a look. We won't pretty much, maybe not su- survive anything out there. So we have to choose our battles. Maybe we can, if we kind of see that Garrett person over there, that'd be great. But. I think we should do the dwarven stuff first. Just to remember, Teriel, we saw you alone in the wilds on the road. And if we hadn't helped you, if we hadn't taken the chance, taken that initiative, you might not be here right now. Cheppy might not be. Does anybody yeah, have the exactly, map out? Because I didn't want to pick you up off the side of the road. I'm trying so, to pull the map up right now. No, no, I'm asking if anybody has the map up. Like, did, does anybody have it out? Uh, I thought Leoric has it. Right? I can't yeah. find it. <laughs> okay. I can. I'm just, I, it's up to you. I don't know if you have it out or not. I think he probably has the map and also the his notebook. Okay. And he's going back and forth between them. All right. So, Leoric, would that be, would that at least be more efficient to go look for where the dwarves are and then, and then go up? Or is it more efficient I, to... I'm, Just looking at the map, think... you can tell it's not even close. Not even close. We're nowhere near each other? No. Okay. All right. Well, um, thank you. Um, it looks like he marked it, and it seems like... It's not near the valley at all. So we came all this way. We came all this way just to turn around. And just, We're not turning around. We, well, we, I know, I know, but, it, but we could have we could have cut across at the uh, Herod Denival, right? Yeah, and we said that lot. Like, yes, we did say so, that. But... So, so, but, so we're here. So let's just follow through, take a look, and come back. Wait a second. There's nothing. Give me a moment. We could head towards Kelvin's Cairn from here, and then go south through the valley to try and find that expedition and then perhaps head to another town on um, Mare du Alden. Do you mind if I go talk to a gentleman over here? Uh, Jartha. Jonathan is his name? Jar, Jartha. Oh. Um, excuse me. Yes. Jar- Jarvan. Um, this expedition that uh, they were on. Do you know the purpose of it? The purpose? He was taking up a group to the cairn. Not sure exactly what they wanted or anything, but they were, I think, mountaineers or something. How about how many was traveling with him, if you don't mind me asking? He looks you up and down. 
Roll a persuasion check. Which I don't have any disadvantage on. All right. <laughs> we learn quickly. Hmm. Um, few others. I uh, can't remember how many, but uh, there were a few others. Took what was they wearing? What, what, what were they wearing? He points to all of you. Warm clothing. Nothing flashy. All right. No. All right. Fine. Would you say that they were prepared to find something? Bring it back, maybe? They had bags with them, or... They had bags, but I don't know if they were... If they had any grand plans or not. Hmm. Okay. Didn't really pay too much attention to that. What did they buy here? Usual things. Uh, Sled, six dogs. Did they have pickaxes? I'm sorry? Did they have pickaxes? Like, oh, did they yeah, have pickaxes? pickaxes. Yes, definitely. Did they have pickaxes. Excellent. Were they climbing axes? axes, or were they like for mining axes? Oh, uh, like ice picks or like rock picks? That's a good question. Uh, climbing axes. Climbing axes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Climbing picks, pitons. Okay. How much are your climbing picks? Wow. We don't need to do any climbing. Well, if you're climbing a mountain. Um. Roll 20. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, he says. Uh, it's not in there. See. Six dogs, sled, climbing picks. Climbers, kid, we've run you 25 gold pieces. 25 gold in your dogs. Oh, the dogs? Uh, 50 gold pieces each. 50, six, three or four, eight. Thank you. Money. Thank you very mm. much. Um, whenever you're ready, uh, we'll, we'll be outside. Uh, so already, right? can I take no, that no, no. to be that you need to hire me to take you up or not? Oh, I thought she gave you the money already. I'm sorry. Hey, sorry about that. And he reaches into his satchel and takes out the money that here you are. Oh, good. Okay. So I'll just get my things and I'll meet you outside in a few minutes. <laughs> yes. Hey. Perfect. So I kind of pull the org back as we walk outside. <sighs> There's a lot of money on this expedition. Okay. And he's like talking really, really closely to him. Almost okay. like they're looking for something special, Leora. I, I wonder what they would be. I wonder what they would be going after on the top of the cairn. Well, expedition? I guess now we'll find out. Six dogs? Who else was on an expedition? Well, we Us. must. There do seem to be lady. many heading towards Kelvin's cairn. Yeah, I would, I just, I would try and get as close to them if I see them talking like You really this. have to work hard, work on our whispering. I literally made sure I made yeah, a point. No, 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 um, yeah. No, 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 I'm trying to get close. To each other. Can I roll for something? <laughs> you can make a stealth check if you're trying to be stealthy. <laughs> I'm always trying to be stealthy. Okay, I'll ask you for more stealth checks then. <laughs> a 16? Um... Yeah, Ray sort of tries to sidle up. Uh, Teriel, uh, you can make a stealth check. A stealth check? Yeah, because you're trying to be quiet, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be... Oh, okay. You don't have to... You don't get an armor penalty for this. I thought you meant like... I thought I was going to do a perception or something to see him. Yeah, yeah I think we have wisdom. Our wisdom... Our, um, our passive perception. Ugh. Stealth is for our horrible, stealth, dude. for us whispering. Which I should probably roll. It sucks because Dex is involved. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yep. Well, look at that. Uh, yeah. So Ray, 
Um, mm -hmm. You try to listen, listen, and maybe you catch a word here and there, but you don't catch the whole combo. Okay. So, they're, well, I think it's, I think that uh, that helps me reassure that this is probably a good idea. I just, I don't know how much I'm uh, willing to climb a mountain if it gets that far. You don't have to climb. Take notes. You can always Very come well. back. Hi. I'll protect you. Also, I went in there as a dwarf, not expecting that I'd have to stay as a dwarf, but now that we hired him as a guide, I feel like I have to stay as a dwarf now, otherwise mm. it would be very weird. Right. So... Moment of danger. You stay close. Aye, very well. What I've been looking for may be in there. Uh -huh. I as well. Depending on... Uh, would you shut that dog up? Hey. Well, no. Yes, so uh, whoa! Oh. Okay, look, animals... You can ask them nicely. You don't tell them to shut up. We don't say that okay. word. All right, fine. You just calm down. Be quiet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Calm. There. There, there. The boy starts to, like, set off the other dogs, you know, that are near the sleds and whatnot. Mm. I, I'm just going to let him be. The free spirit. All right, I am, um, and I guess as everybody else kind of gathers around or starts to fiddle or, um, um, like, uh, mosey up to the conversation, as the conversation between, uh, uh, Terry and I ends, he kind of turns to everybody and goes, I'm very, uh, very interested now in, in this expedition. Uh, it seems like they could be after something, and I'm very curious, and it could definitely be if it's the, if it's the Chardolin. I do, do want to make sure that that is, uh, secured, or, um, at least, well, um, I know where it is. Do you resort, actually know how to handle it safely? That is See, my biggest question. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Nissa on this. I do mean? not Don't want worry. to face I you can, as I an can enemy handle it or just fine. Or that is you, not. Terriel. I am a paladin, of course. That what does that mean? Matter. Men I'm a paladin. wiser and older and stronger have lost their minds to this. But yeah. So, wh well, okay. I I if we could, if we could just back up. So, her people went nuts with the stuff, and this other group, you think they may have gone after it, and now they're missing. So let's assume if they're not dead, they're nuts. So we're gonna go into this, and I, I think we're gonna end up nuts. Right. But it's I not meant really to ask is... Trovis for help. He just seems not so able to provide that. No, um, no, and I get that. But I don't want to see any of you fall to this also. I just feel like we have to proceed with extreme caution. Yeah, well. I. Well. But it's, um, I don't, I don't. The difference between those who have probably dabbled with the Shardlin and me is they do not have the guidance of Azuth. And I, and not many people do, and that's because he has been lost for so long, but now he's back. And if this has been gifted to us during the Sundering, or during the, uh, during uh, the, uh, his rebirth, then there's a very good chance that it has been gifted to us by Azuth. And if that's the case, then we have nothing to worry about, for, for I follow Azuth for all of their boon is what I possess. And you've had an easy go of everything? With this following? You almost like, died. No, no, no bad times. But no I nothing. didn't die. You right. see that? I didn't. And if I did die, well, then you but know it would be something. But others with you did. I, you survived. Those who are loyal. And I kind but of pat Chepi Terriel on the almost back. died. Terriel struggled. And your entire rest of your party died. Do you understand why I'm concerned? That happens, so that's why that's why I'm concerned about even going to the cairn itself. Avalanches happen all the time. We have Listen. to be cautious. I'm not saying we shouldn't no, continue, I, but I'm yeah. saying we should be cautious. I, I'm, oh, I'm I fine with going so. to it. I don't know if I want to go up it. We need the animals. We need to get the bird. Hi. Got to get the bird. All right, well, I will go get the bird then, um, and uh, I will just meet you here when uh, Jared, Jared Arthur gets back. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Probably doesn't take long for Jartha to come out of the, um, um, of the, uh, what was it? Far. Expedition. Frozen Far. Frozen Far. That was it. 
frozen for our expedition. Uh, see Jartha lock up and um, come out and uh, has a good amount of furs and stuff on. Uh, has climbing gear and stuff uh, set up. Did anybody buy any climbing gear? I was asking about it. I, I mean, if I guess I could, but if no one else is going to, like, I look to Moonbrook. Do you think we should buy climbing gear? I don't have the money, so I can't do it. I'm not climbing that thing, and then we have to hold everybody else up and the animals. No. I'm not We're just going it. to go check the base of it to see if he's yeah, there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing any. Sniff around I'm not doing or anything any like that. Not doing any We're not climbing. Agreed. That's crazy talk. Hmm. Unless you want to buy us some stuff. No, I'm, I'm not, not climbing. I have, I have, I have the money, but I'm not climbing. You have enough money to buy us all climbing stuff? Of course I do. I, I mean. They are exciting. Cool, you just keep to yourself. I'm suddenly like regretting tickets. giving my two gold to him. All right, so are we heading out then? Yes, yes, please. Uh, the sled? Yeah, I'll, I'll try a uh, boy to the I, sled. Someone's gonna have to give me a boost here. And he's, he's trying really hard to get up on the axe peak, but he's, I pick all right, him. All right. I literally oh. just pick him up one-handed. Ooh, like, just by the okay. scruff of his neck, oh, kind of, right. and place him up there. Hey. Here you go. Ouch. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Thrak. Yeah, Thrak is uh, sort of just eyeing you as you approach. And Nissa tries to throw you up there. Uh, go ahead and Ooh. roll an animal handling check. Don't fail me now. I jinxed it. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Thrak uh, moves out of the way when Nissa sort of tries Ooh. to throw you up there. So Ooh. you kind of like halfway climb up and then fall off. Ooh. Thrak, oh, Thrak like bed. quickly oh. walks away. Okay. Um, Perhaps um, this time you walk a little ways. Uh, and, and jo- Jonathan. Yes, are we ready? What's that over there? Oh, no, something's coming. Ah, hurry, hurry, look behind you. Look, please look behind you. Just, what's that? Go ahead and do a performance check. (laughs) (laughs) What are you doing? He's, um, the the cold is getting to him. He's terribly got head sickness. Shame. Never mind. <laughs> and he Shame. turns back into uh, Leoric. Uh, um, what was that? Sorry. Some sort of magic? Um. Yeah, he yeah. does that. It's, but he's okay. You don't have to worry about him. He's not sick or anything. That's not like an illness. He's, oh, he's okay. Oh, he's not okay. I'm not actually. All right, sorry. I got to get Thrak. And uh, hoping that me actually being Leoric for him will be, help. Oh, yeah, Thrak sidles right up to you again, lets you climb right up. No problem. All right, I thought so. Ready, Chippy? And he kind of like pats the bum of. Yeah, Yes, here you go. Uppies. Easy, easy. Uh, All right, Chippy, uppies. Yep. Okay. Yeah, perfect. You climb aboard, <laughs> and you set off to Calvin's Cairn with the guide, which is extremely helpful, by the way. I'm just saying. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Finally. it's great. Acquired a guide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> An achievement. Okay. Jartha guides you towards Kelvin's Cairn. And the mountain oh, just sort notebook? of looms larger and Jimmy's larger definitely. as you Got continue. It. Um, it is... A uh, very big mountain uh, that begins to come into view. Jartha uh, takes you probably a few hours to get here, by the way. Um, Jartha helps speed you on your way. Uh, It would have taken you longer. (laughs) 
But eventually, you come to the base of Kelvin's Cairn. If it loads, there we go. <laughs> okay. So, um, you should see a black screen, but for a second here, I'm gonna fix it for you. Suspense is killing me. Yeah, it's killing me too. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> what are we gonna see? I'm okay, I might have to apprehensively holding my weapon. I might have to, <laughs> Garrett, I know it. Might have to give you guys <laughs> GM permission. Hell yeah! No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to give you guys tokens. Uh, let me give you some tokens here. This should work. If that will make it work. All right, let's try this. Tokens, you say? Yeah. Hmm. I'm so excited. Oh, that's still not giving you vision. Okay, that's fine. Let's try and do this. Sorry. I look great. Oh, I'm okay with this. Trust me. Are we only supposed to see our token right now as well? I know we can't see you the map. Should see, but... You should see uh, everybody's. Uh, uh, no, I can only see mine. I can only yeah, see mine. I, can I don't see mine. Can only see mine. anything at all. Uh, let's oh. try Ooh. that. I got vision. Okay. There we yep. go. I see. I also have vision. I need it. Can you reload the page? Uh, okay. Let me check yours real quick. I think ah that's why okay should be able to do this and you should be able to see it there we go and I am closing out of the feed so I don't see things that my character doesn't okay um, that is I so, still just fair. see black oh wait hold on do this at yeah, the I bottom out. I zoomed see out and then I was in. one I see myself that's yeah. it yep. Yep. Um, okay. does anybody have any torches? I, I do. do. I also have I, a lantern. I, have I bought vision. a lantern. Hello. Yeah. Have a lantern l- time. I the torches. elves should be able to see further. Mine is gr- like dark gray, but I can see every- everything in front of me, I guess. Hmm. Weird, it didn't just, save. Interesting. I'll light a torch. Um, I would like my lantern. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Should we check and see if the guide has some lanterns and lights for us? We're paying this guy. <laughs> look at it. Look at this. Look, look how smart. <laughs> Absolutely. Jebby, want to save money? Sorry, I, I actually tested this before, and it should be working. I'm kind of surprised that it's not. Um, all right, let's try that. Didn't and the dynamic lighting change a lot? Recently yeah, they too? they changed it, but I uh, they must have done something else because I I saved all this stuff. Everybody should be able to see, um, but it didn't. It's it's not on right now. Um, oh. so it got turned off somehow. I don't know what happened. Um, oh, I, it works. Yeah, everybody I should can start. See everybody's tokens yeah, you should now. you should start to see stuff coming on now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have all light right now. Do we want all light? Um, um, I still don't see anything. I just see myself. Yeah, some people don't have good vision in the dark, um, but now it should be working. Yeah, I see everything. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I see it, something also. You should be able to see the mountain in general, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, if I, is, that, is anyone can everybody out? see? Yeah, I can yeah. see. You can also see, see everything. Okay, good. I can see it, awesome. Yeah, it's, Yes. So, Jartha, sorry about that, guys. I did check this before we okay. did this. I've set this up beforehand, and it still just decided not to load. Um, okay. So it's my fault. You come to the base of Calvin's Cairn, and um, I'm just going to leave your tokens here. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that you had vision. Um, so the red uh, pin is going to be where the group is. I just wanted to make sure you guys all had vision, so. Okay. Um, uh, 
Okay, Jartha is going to eventually lead you to what appears to be a base camp. He points it out over there and says, You see that? That right there, that has to be the base camp. Right. Well, no, all right. Do you see it? Yeah. I yeah. see something in the distance. Kind of blind. I see it clearly. Do you uh, see anyone moving there? Shall we go I up to it? can't see anything from here. Can we make closer. it to there? I'm going to start walking that way. Terriel's just going to start walking. Sure. Just Same. straight straight down here, right? Uh, Jartha's going to turn to you and say, We're going to have to stop yelling now. As we get closer to the mountain, there's a higher chance for avalanches and things. Be careful. Oh, okay. Use Fair hand point. signals to point. It's kind of going to like point in the direction that he needs to go. Okay. Um, Terriel begins to walk off. Do the rest of you follow? Yeah, I, I follow towards the camp. Shh, shh, not too loud, Wish. Not too loud. Avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be near the back. Okay, I'm also going to be near the back. So hand on sword, I'm walking. Chef is motioning to Leoric to check the lantern as they're walking, and she will walk and kind of, like, keep her hand on Nissa. Like, she's just, like, trying to use her as, like, a guide. I also put a hand on Chevy just to kind of help her along a little bit. So, as you approach the base camp, you can see that there are two tents pitched in the snow near an icy outcropping that acts as a natural windbreaker. Between the tents is an overturned sled Still harnessed to the sled are five howling dogs. So I'm going to motion at Leoric. I'm going to grab him so he can come over. The dogs. Leoric turns and walks away as soon as you point out the dogs. But there's five of them. Do you have any rations? I have have rations, but those are for people. We should... We can buy more rations. We have to feed these dogs. Uh, they've probably been here for days. The thing is, if they bark loud enough, it's a oh, chance yes. then. Oh, I... Yes. I, 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 I will share my rations also. No, guys, stop. I can cast Goodberry. Fine. Okay. And I do. So, okay. Do dogs like berries? <laughs> Well, let's hope so. Uh, yeah. I'm not hungry to eat anything. I've seen dogs eat poop, so I now, wouldn't be surprised. The- <laughs> I draw my line at fruits and vegetables. I'm a dog. Uh, <laughs> so where is that? I, G- Goodberry's interesting. Hold on, let me bring it up. Uh, I used to have a dog that ate grapes. <laughs> so. so I can produce up to 10 berries. Um... A creature can use its action to eat one berry, eating a berry restores one hit. It keeps them full. Yeah. Uh, enough nourishment to sustain a creature for one day. One one berry is enough. And how many uh, berries do you make? If there's only five of them, I'm probably just going to do five. Okay. <laughs> you need to. I wasn't thinking. I straight up just did five. Just do ten. Too late. You can keep them for 24 hours. Too late. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you know what? I take that back. I do six. I do one for me. Absolutely. <laughs> one for me. <laughs> okay. The dogs, like, eat them up. Like, it's so hard to uh, control them. Boy is, like, rushing over to them. They're all sort of, like, doing that thing where they're, you know, um, meeting up with each other and, and barking and whatnot. Um, and and uh, it's, it's hard to, like, it's hard to feed them. But... 
you can uh, you start to feed them, and you can see like at first the dogs look like they just want to eat all of the berries, like they look like they want to fight with each other to eat them. Um, but after they eat one, they look a bit confused, and they sort of settle down. <laughs> okay, so Thank I will goodness. struggle with each one until they're all fed. Very good idea. Thank goodness. Very, okay. Very good. I'm going good to berry good. Tint. Very good. I'll be he right really back. has come in handy, I say to Moonbrook. So I'm going to make my way to um, the tent. So I'm going to start looking in. Sure. Uh, underneath the sled are two small crates. One okay. appears to be empty, and the dogs seem to have broken into it, and it was most likely food. You probably can see, like, uh, evidence of some food. Um, the other one uh, doesn't appear to have been in the dog's reach. But that crate is closed. Um... Can I break it open? Material was the one that went over there to check it out. Did you follow him? Maybe I just look to him and say, Teriel, what is that you have there? Well, since we're quiet, I can't hear you over the... Because we're, like, being really quiet. And unless you yelled that. Uh, no, I wouldn't have. Okay. I'll just make my way to you. Um, I'm just, like, looking at the... Oh, go ahead, Leoric. Leoric takes out a copper wire and twists it around one of his fingers, and then he talks into his hand. Hey, Ulrich. All right, I'm sorry. I'm Larry Ulrich. I'm, uh, uh Tarion. Oh. I, I am. It is me. It is I. It is Leoric. Hi. Oh. Hi. I, I, you I, can I, just I, do that. That will. That's crazy. Okay, I can't hear you, but if you could just, just, just give me a yes or no. It is really about. Yes. I. Sure. I can't hear you. Thumbs up. Yes. Head bang. Okay, I see that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. And then he makes his way over. Yeah. Hi. Right, so I can't hear you when I do that. So you can just um, do that at will. You can just enter. Yes. Yeah, oh. I can. I, 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 it's not. Well, it's not. I can't do it. Uh, Zeus lets me do it. You see. Um, I'm assuming I wouldn't have heard this, but I was making my way over there. So, what are you guys talking about? Leoric uh, gestures to everybody that it's like it's cool, like that. I, I pictured Terio went out there to, like, scout it out, and then I sent, like, a message over to him, and then I went, it's good, we can go in, coast is clear kind of thing. Right, but for anyone looking at Terio, did he just look like a crazy person? It's like... <laughs> he probably. Yeah. <laughs> you can see Boy is snuffling about in the snow, um, and he starts to make his way over um, towards this area over here. Oops, and you can't see that because I'm on the wrong layer. Let's try that again. Over there. I, I'd probably be following him. Not, with, being mindful of how far away I'm getting away. What was that, 10 feet? Ish? Uh, yeah, roughly. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll probably be following him. In the meantime, if this is over there with me, I'm going to say, can you flip this, this sled over? I just reach down and heft it and grunt a little and just try to maneuver it over on its side. Like, I, I don't do it very quickly because I'm afraid of disturbing the surroundings with anything that's too intensive, but I'm just, like, trying to go... Urgh. Okay. Uh, yeah, you flip it over. Uh, I, I won't make you roll a check for it. It's probably not easy, but you can flip it over. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's useful. Um, so he just like puts the crate on top of the sled gently. Can you open this? Before we do anything, I say we get these sleds ready just in case something happens. Fair point. Yeah, very good idea. There's another I, I one. I follow Ray, by the way. Yeah, I think Cheppy would have been following Ray and Moonbrook as well, and she's actually going to be keeping an eye out on her shoulders the whole time since she's moved away from Leoric and the Lantern. She's just going to keep watching herself. 
So we need to flip the other one over. Gather the dogs and place them on each sled. We can't have them going around their fall now anyway, so they'll be, they'll be good. And then if any danger comes, we can run into one of these sleds and get out of here. I have no skill with animals, but I'll help as I can. Well, maybe me and Leora can jump on. I have no skill either, but when yeah. time comes coming... He needs a help, but... All right, come on, puppy. Come on. Come on. That's it. I'm going to help Leora to, like, get the dogs together and start... Placing I'll help as I like... can, but I, I kind of, like, look at Moonbrook and Ray and Chappie just to kind of keep an eye on them. How far are they from us at this point? Uh, I mean... Uh, it's about ten feet or so, so it's not very far um, from okay. where the where the where boy goes. He seems to stop about there. I'm just keeping an eye on them, but helping with the floods. If you if you need to go tend to your duty, by all means, we're just pushing dog. We're putting dogs on the sled. It's just getting ready in case something happens. Yes, but if you want to go do your duty, I think you I'll could tell here. that there's no way you'd be able to use the sled up the mountain but you can definitely use the sleds elsewhere. Yep. I think, I think well, at least what I'm picturing is we are getting them ready if in case we need to bolt out of here. Mm-hmm. Like we're, we're, we're lining them up towards away from the mountain and hooking the dogs up in case mm-hmm. we need to make an escape. Yeah, that's what I interpreted it as. So we're just getting everything's ready while, just in case. Jartha comes up and says, did you find them at all? Not yet. He wasn't buried little... in the snow or anything, was he? I'm going to go check the other tent and look around. Oh, right. com- I just wanted to get the dogs together. Haven't completely. We, have, we haven't looked uh, completely yet. We're still doing it. Just want to make sure we have an out in case something happens. All right. Sorry, can you, our uh... group be looking? I'm sorry, hey, what was that? Can our group be looking where what? we're standing? Yeah, you're just looking at the where boy is. Yeah, yeah. I'm just brushing the snow with my yeah. feet, sort of scuffing. I'll into help it Ray. But, um, I'll assist. Sure. Um, investigate or insight, depending on how you're doing this. If you're trying to figure out what's going on with boy, you can roll an insight. If you are trying to look around and see if you can find anything, it's an investigate. I you think it, I would probably. I think I would be doing the insight, honestly. I think I'm trying to figure out what he's trying to do. Uh, okay. Yeah. Boy definitely has a scent, and it looks like he's looking up towards the what, what appears to be um, like a way up the mountain. Oh. Can I look in the tents for climbing gear and stuff? Sure. Of any sort, like left stuff. Yep. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Hey, look, I got a... Oh, great. Nothing in the tents. They're bare. Mm. Damn it. I really want to find climbing gear in here. Do I hear him say that? Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> It, uh, it didn't seem like he was being very me. loud. Good yeah. news and bad news about that uh, If there is climbing gears and they didn't go up the mountain, and I assume that there isn't climbing gears, so we have to climb up the mountain? Yes. That's literally <laughs> my thoughts. Uh, Jartha uh. Um, probably would have uh, just been staying back, like watching you go through the tents and stuff. And he would have shrugged his shoulders, pointed towards the tent. Anything? No. Yeah. That means they probably climbed. Mm. He's gonna, he's gonna like look up at the mountain, and probably look over towards where the others are. And he says, "I think the dog there has a good insight onto where to go. Could follow. There's a bit of a path." Uh, and he starts to point out certain areas. Um, along the uh, sort of this ridge um, on the mountain and he gives you a general idea 
of the best route to take. Ten gold and, well spent. Right there, and, look and, at that. And, and boy is looking in this general direction, right? Like this path. Okay. Yep. Um, Jotha, thank you very much for your services. We'll do everything that we can to collect whatever we find. All right. Um, well, good, good luck. luck. Before you go, if we do find unfortunate bodies um, of Gareth in general, would you like for us to bring the body back to you? I could make sure something's done. If you can, that would be good. Thank Maybe you. see him back to his husband. All right. Be safe. You as well. Be careful. <sighs> and Terrell with that, Terrell like snuggles up and puts his hood on from his furs. All right, Before dear. you go, Jaffa. And he holds up his hand and uh, he holds it out as if to handshake or to grasp his. Yeah. Yartha. And, and he, he clasps and uh, puts his left hand on top and says, Azut will guide your path home, and I will give guidance to him. He looks a bit strangely at first, kind of looking around a bit confused. Mm. Be safe. I hope you find him. Thank you. Really are. People climb this uh, often? Sometimes, I wouldn't say often, but there's quite a few that are interested in challenging we don't need themselves. Tools. We don't need tools to make this trek. Well, we don't have any. It would make Wait. things easier. Uh, great. Well, thank you. And uh, uh, Azuth guide you and all that. Uh, before you go, he's going to whisper. I know, he keeps stopping you, but have you ever heard anything of Shardlin up here? Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Stops in his tracks, turns around. Yeah. It's definitely whispered. Definitely whispered. Yeah, he <laughs> turns around to face you, and you see his eyes are wide, his brow furrowed, and he says, "Why do you care?" <sighs> I'm a paladin, and I've been sent on a mission to obtain the Shadowland by Edna Gold. Lots of vigorous training. It calls to me. Calls to you. I'm trying to figure this out as much as I can as well. Let me tell you something about Shardlin. You stay away from it if you know what's good for you. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Mm. So, Terry, Terry kind of got what he needed to hear anyway. Um, be safe. He nods his head, but he's he's looking at you pretty intensely. As he does so, bundles up more, and then steps off. Walking Terrell back, kind of looks looks back at the side of his face, and like a small smirk. <sighs> Leorak, wait up! Catch up to Leorak. All right. Are you ready to brave this? I guess so. What did you say to him? I just gave him guidance. Uh, my time. I also gave uh, him guidance. Ask oh, him. Nice. 
ask him if this truck was going to be difficult or not. And unfortunately, it will be. So, Great. I need you to stay very close to me. All right. Well, so gonna... I will uh, just uh, you start, and I will be right here. And he's going to dig like four of his fingers into the back waist of your pants or your uh, like your armor. And he's just going to like, as you start climbing, he's just going to try to keep a hand are on we, you. Are we climbing where we decided not to go? Because yeah. you guys are just going. No, we, we're, we're catching you, up to you. No, we were, you, and it, we were you guys, away. you guys said all, all, all of you said that we we're, were climbing. not climbing this mountain. We didn't buy gear. We didn't prepare. Well, that's Why not are we suddenly a, climbing now? That's a path, right? Well, because we, so, yeah. there's a few places to climb, oh, um, but it's the area that the, the path that Jartha sort of drew out for you is the safest way that you can see. Yes, well, we were, we were, but we were going to not, we were going to not climb it, but now it's, uh, now, I mean, after seeing the base here and them um, uh, knowing that they probably maybe have, um, it's expensive. Uh, we were, so, uh, what's expensive? Terio what is the purpose off. of climbing this mountain? Is it Ter- just this man's life? Because Terio. you didn't seem to care about it so much before. Right. So Terio cuts them off and say, and he looks at Moonbrook and he says, we gave our word. And he like smiles. Now and, uh, you care about your word. Absolutely. I didn't even say anything. I was standing here minding my damn business. No, I mean, can I, can I'm I just agreeing with you back Terio? at the... Do what? You can inside I'm check. I'm not lying. Yeah, you can, well... Because we didn't hear the whole conversation, like me and Moonbrook and Ray yeah, and, can, I, and yeah, Chucky, I didn't hear, we didn't I didn't hear any anything. of that. Literally. roll an inside check. Yeah. Wait, what are they inciting for? She's trying to get a read on you. I'll let you decide what you think she gets. She rolled a natural okay. 20, so... Fuck! All right, I'll do this. Um, when I say, we gave our word, and then I kind of, like, smile and then look towards the mountain, I'll just do that. Instead of it just being, like, normal Terriel, where he'd just be like, we gave our word. His, his, his vocals... His voice has changed to the point where it's more focused, steady, kind of like thirsty, hungry type thing, but, you know, mentally. Like, like lusting towards the mountain? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's it. More creepy than, than anything. Yeah. Not unless I'm going to lust, but more of a that controlled, makes, that makes it's sense. a controlled settlement in his voice because it's, you know, Terriel was more of a, kind of almost immature, but now he's like super focused. Determination. Yeah. Okay. So I'll start over. <clears throat> we get by the word. Remember? I look I'm giving my oath to this mission. And I'll do it with or without you. I'll give you that. I, I look to Moonbrook and I look to Raytoin and Chappy. And I say, I don't know why they suddenly want to climb. I don't want them to get hurt. But this seems incredibly risky. Uh- um, Jebby you, you has s- an idea. Okay. What if we go just until we can? If there's a part that's really dangerous or we have to climb, Jebby can just jump. She's part goat. I could probably just jump up this thing, but Jebby doesn't want to leave you behind. What if we just tied some rope around each other, stayed in a little file line? It's like playing a big game just on a really scary mountain. And if there's any part where we can't get up the mountain, then Jebby and friends just go back down and say we tried. I'm right, just concerned it. about what's up there. Okay, I'll say this. I think it might be okay to go up a little bit to look. I'm not going to the top of this thing. Um, and also, uh, Whack, if I can ask, the, the camp, with the dogs being there and the sled turned over and something had been broken into... The sled's they, been turned back over. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just talking about when we first got there. Um, yeah, I know I know that they had, they had set the sled up, but I'm just saying, when we first got there, with all these signs... Those dogs have been there for a few days, just stuck, right? No one's been back. Very obvious to see that. Yeah, okay. you don't have to even make a roll. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm okay with, with going up a little bit. If it gets too treacherous, I'm turning around. I'm not going to die up there. We don't have any climbing gear. So I'm Ooh. okay with going a little bit. 100%. That's what, that's what I was like, saying. Terrell, like, Terrell, not. I'm not, hike, but I'm not climbing. But 
Dario just walks to the foot of the mountain. He's just kind of like, good, and walks to the foot of the mountain and uh, just, just looks up. I look to Moonbrook and I say, I will help them. I don't want them to get hurt, but I'm more concerned about what's up there than the root. No, I, I completely understand. And also, you know, um, they don't understand. And this is a whisper. Um, they don't understand that it's cold on the ground, but it's probably colder up there. I have a I guess we go, so. This, but all right. We're not going all the way. We'll leave. That's a pack between me and you. All right, let's go. So. Who's leading the way? Um. The dog, right? Is the dog coming? We left the bird down there with the other dogs. Boy just to be definitely, clear. boy is or definitely trying to sort of pull or indicate to follow. But you get like we cannot, like Where's we can't bring a dog with us up the mountain. I mean, we could. I've seen it done IRL with like a backpack, but like I don't. Yeah, I don't know. And the dog is, is, this, on his is, own is, is, is this path climbable by um by a uh, boy at all? Or is this something that would be difficult for the you dog? You'd assume so? Okay. I mean, he's going to go until he can't anymore, right? That's just dogs. Mm. He's going to go until he can't. <laughs> Still need yeah, to know much, who's leading the way. So as much as I hate... Yeah. I'm I, gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll just lead the way since I'm, like, wanting to yeah. go up. But is the bird staying down or coming with us? I could probably bring the axe peak. Uh, I did know that Wack mentioned it can it's, climb, but I don't know how. Yeah, I yeah, know I'll, it can't I'll, like climb up a mountain, but at least yeah, but it can it can probably hike. So I'll bring the axe the peak. Okay. <clears throat> okay. All right, I'll I'll be leading, and uh, Leoric I guess is right behind me with the beak, riding the bird. Yep. Okay. So you begin to start your ascent with Teriel leading the way. As you begin to hike up Kelvin's Cairn. It's not an easy trek as you begin to step in the snow, some loose rocks along the way. Continue following the path Ajartha suggested. Eventually, coming to a large hanging rock on your left, Ariel, you can see that there are four mountain goats along the path, just up ahead. Oh, friends. Um, so I'm going to look back at Chappy. Chappy, Chappy, come. Yes. I found we your cousins. Walk up. I found cousins of yours. Can you tell them the move? Chubby doesn't. I'm not related to all the goats. I'm not a mountain goat. Chubby's just like half goat. Oh, but maybe. Can you have half goat? I They don't seem to react. Okay. Yeah, they don't speak chappy. All right, well, let's keep I it just, down and move I walk them. up to a goat and you walk smack up to it them? on the butt. You walk up to them. Mm-hmm. Okay. The goats start to bleat. <laughs> and uh, they start to bounce away uh, as soon as you try to get close to them. They're frightened. <clears throat> of us? Yeah, I mean, you just smacked it on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yeah. It ran away that, before I could. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, you know, you're intimidating. Okay, so Terio just keeps... He looks around. Well, you see this rock here? 
Be very careful. Oh. I'm trying to check and see if it's stable or not. Eh, let's not touch it. Let's just leave it as it is. So there's, of course, that's the big old rock right there. And it's kind of, is it leaning towards us? <laughs> I, mean, um, I see it's it. It's hanging. I mean, it's big enough where if it was about to fall, it would have fallen. Okay. So Terio kind of just like walks a little faster past it. It's because this is all new to him. Mm. Bundles up even more. Waves at the others. Leorg, make sure you turn on that lantern. Periodically. Oh, it's, been, it's, it's on. It's been yeah. on. Okay, no that action. Not. <clears throat> not that I know of. Continue moving along the path. It's at that point that you hear up above a loud crack. I'll put my hand up. Not turn around. We all stop. Everybody stopped, right? Mm hmm. Uh, crack, crack. Uh, and then I turn and I start. I, well, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. And I try to make my way back down the mountain. You're gonna go down? No. The way we came. <laughs> no, no. Wait a minute, where are you? I can't where, grab him. <laughs> what are you where, doing? Where are you at? Yeah, if you're in front of just, us, I'm stopping. Just moving. I'm just like front, wait, trying to tell him just, to shut up. I'm just like, I'm on a, I, I feel like I'm on a panicking bird. <laughs> but I don't know, I guess. <clears throat> um, okay. Would the bird be freaking out right now? Like, can we tell if it's starting to get anxious because of this? Also, where is Boy? Boy uh, is tied, up I ahead with Teriel. Oh, I thought I tied him up. No, Teriel, Teriel brought Boy along. And you said he was a free spirit, so I yeah. mean, you know, he no, right. did what he wanted to no, do. You're, you're absolutely right. All of you can see snow begin to cascade down as a, a familiar sound of an avalanche begins to rumble up above. And that's where we're going to end the session today. Oh, man. Perfect. Good session, everybody. Great session. Oh my God. Looks like I'm going to be using a skill soon. Can we, can we please get cliffhanger spammed in the chat, please? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Literal cliffhangers. Literal. Actual cliffhanger. I don't get it. Yeah. <sighs> Great session. Um, and yeah, uh, I will say that getting the guide was very helpful. It was a good idea. Yeah. Um, but they're in for quite a bit of trouble next session. So let's see Finally. how that goes. I'm very excited, <laughs> actually. <laughs> this is where somebody dies, right? This is it. I mean, you got to think about it. Yeah, we've been playing it, I mean, we've been playing it yes. so safe. It, you know, having some action is good. Yeah. Even if it kills you. So. I don't want to go kill people in that town. I don't want to get buried by, <laughs> by an avalanche. Again. Um, the cat's like, no, mom. <laughs> if you haven't done so, please make sure you follow all of these wonderful people. You can head on over to tablestory.tv slash rhyme if, uh, if you want to click on all the buttons and, and follow them in all the places. Oh, I know. Go do that. It's 20 minutes late. And, um, uh, yes, I'm sorry, Kitty. Um, and uh, if you have yourself Prime Gaming that you haven't used yet, consider throwing it their way. Get yourself some emotes. Make sure you're following us here on Table Story. Uh, twitch.tv slash table story and we're also on YouTube under table story um, let's go around the room let's do a quick round of shout outs to wrap everything up because we're over a bit um, let's see Proxy you want to start us off uh, hi I'm Proxy I play Cheppy um, I'm so thankful to be invited here on table story it's been super fun uh, I stream five days a week over on my channel. I play Rust and League and kind of whatever else I feel like playing at the time. <laughs> I've been doing this again. I love role playing. So I was super, super excited when uh, Pumpkin and Whack and stuff invited me over. <laughs> I couldn't wait. And then I got to play with all of these amazing people. I knew Myth That's and cool. Wish from role play. And I got to meet, you know, Aaron and <laughs> Tess and Technique. And it's been a lot of fun. So, yeah, make sure 
make sure you go follow all of those guys on their channels as well. And I really appreciate you guys watching on Friday nights. It's been great. Thank you so much. Tess? <laughs> um, I have a, a ravenous beast, uh, aka a cat. This is basically what I imagine being Raytwin at all times. <laughs> <laughs> She's an adorable butt. <laughs> um, I yeah. I <laughs> they caught that. Wait too. a minute. I, <laughs> it I took a second. It took a second. <laughs> I'm like adorable butthole, Listen here. <laughs> I love her dearly. <laughs> but she's an adorable butthole anyway. Um, I'm I'm so I'm so honored, honestly, to be among this group people like every single one of them is incredible wish and ray who wrote a freaking amazing book that i finished in one night because i w couldn't sleep and i just was like oh i have a thing to read and then i literally could not stop until i was done like everything else didn't matter it's that good go read it um firewall down on amazon that's all you need to do is google firewall down um myth who is freaking incredible proxy who is freaking incredible wish and technique and whack with this music i know every single one of you guys in chat was like this music oh my god please please just like give it to us so we can listen to it all the time it's so yeah, good really it's great it really is amazing um yeah i i stream a lot on my channel i do random things lots of vr lately so testica just yeah it's somewhere it's up there um just yeah i'll be streaming tomorrow because every saturday that's like the only guaranteed day yeah thank you so much Move on. <laughs> yeah. thank you technique Hello, Technique. I um, streamer here on Twitch as well. I've been uh, doing do I do it for like six days a week or so, uh, Tuesday through Sunday. Um, I have a big charity event called Quest uh, to Conquer Cancer with a big bunch of group of streamers tomorrow at twelve noon Eastern till four. It's a four-hour event for me. Um, going to go pretty hard on that. It's gonna be really fun. I love charity events. Uh, I love role playing. I used to act back in the day, and this is putting me back in my my mood which is I'm, I'm very happy to do i'm um, very 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 much honored to be on table store with so much so many amazing talent in general and people that i looked up to for so long so thanks for having me here i'm also on a monday show with whack and it's called uh, forbidden lands so check us out on that but other than that thank you very much feel free to follow me on twitter and it's technique with no u no e and then tv at the end technique tv thank you so much myth Hi, everybody. I'm Myth, or uh, Mythomatic, or Cord. Uh, I do things on the internet. I do this stuff, uh, tabletop role-playing, as well as role-playing in anything that really isn't usually role-played in. I have my own channel. You can follow me out over there. Uh, you can also follow me in my... Uh, I do a lot of production work over on LFM Network. We're doing a Dark Sun uh, political heavy campaign, so if you want to check out uh, Dark Sun, a really awesome D&D &D setting uh, that is uh, old, but also uh, pretty sweet. So if you want to check that out, uh, that's on YouTube. Uh, I do a lot of writing and stuff. Follow me on twitter.com slash mythomatic where you can see what I'm up to and when I'm doing it. Uh, and that's me. This is awesome and I can't wait for next week. Thank you, buddy. Wish. Hello, it me, Wish. It's lovely to meet all you. Thank you for coming to enjoy our game. We're very excited to put it on for you. E like every week I get so hyped for Fridays. I'm so excited for the things to come. Like, what are we like session six? Is this six? Seven. Six. We're six. Crazy enough. We have enough. not touched combat. Like, can you guys just imagine our stories that's unfolding in front of us? But besides just us, I just want to take a moment and thank Whack and Myth and Tess and Aaron and Tech and Proxy for being amazing players. She's and I just wife. look forward to hanging out with them every every week and i'm just so thankful that they're my friends and we get to tell a really cool story together um also i want to thank the other players on table story because they're also doing awesome shows every day of the week except for sundays right no they're sundays because die in order anyways <laughs> so yeah off, like right? we're off you can look on at wednesdays and thursdays right now oh only off on wednesdays and thursdays mm -hmm. yeah so you can check out awesome role play any day of the week tomorrow is going to be state of affairs which i'm looking forward to because it's like pride and prejudice but you know fancier and D D and christmas i'm so excited um and yeah 
we're celebrating the 31 days of wish miss over on my channel twitch.tv for such wish uh so yeah uh, i'll be streaming after this every day this month so yay okay thank you wish that's it thank you for being awesome you guys thank you aaron Hi, my name is Aaron Black. I'm an author. I wrote a book called Firewall Down. It's a cyberpunk detective mystery. If you buy it, you're going to read it in one night, and that's it. Go buy it, because it's a fantastic, fantastic book. Is that the world-famous writer, Aaron Yeah, Black. I'm so famous. Ah. You just can't believe it. <laughs> you're famous to us. The Thanks. book is great. We okay. love I need, it. I don't need you. fame. Okay. I don't need fame. Thank you. <laughs> so go, go check out the book. book. Make sure you buy it on uh, Kindle and a physical copy. Buy both. Buy both. Um, thank you, Aaron. Uh, make sure you're following Aaron on Twitter as well. Aaron B. Writes. Go follow him on Twitter. Uh, learn uh, when that second book is going to come out. Aaron's... No, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron's been working hard on it already. Uh, uh, thank you, buddy. Uh, I'm Wax Steven. <laughs> Uh, I have been your DM of Doom. I've dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. Thank you so much, as always, chat. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you to Aaron. Thank you, uh, Tech. Thank you, Tess. Thank you, Wish. Thank you, Proxy. Thank you, Myth, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much. Um, tomorrow, we are doing the start of a uh, holiday special of A State of Affairs. There's going to be a few episodes of A State of Affairs coming back. So if Scandal is your thing, if you like the, um, the, uh, the, the very, very scandalous behavior of uh, the Jane Austen style um, uh, stories, then check it out. Make sure that you come on by. Uh, great cast for that. Um, that's uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Peace out. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye.